What do you fancy? Uh, I guess it's between Overwatch and Friday the 13th, so mm. one of those. I see Jay Dussin's in the chat. My computer is being really slow, so... Titan Serpent says, hey man. Hey, can you guys hear me? Can you still yeah. hear me there, John? Can you hear Clayton? Oh wait, let me put it up to there. Now you speak. Can you guys hear me? Oh god, he's going. <laughs> you're gonna be so loud. Uh, I think that's right. So you, can you guys still hear me? Yeah, they can hear. You. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> Give in to your hatred. Release your anger. <laughs> What's that noise he makes when he spins through the air? Where he's like, <laughs> <laughs> "No, no, no, you!" <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what a great it's character! Tre treason, then. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, should we flip a coin? Sure, why not? Um, oh no, I don't have a coin on me. Um, don't have one in my vicinity. Let me just think. Yes, I do. Uh, wait, give me two seconds. I might have one in Minas Tirith. Minas Tirith. It could go through the mines of Moria. <laughs> and they called it a mine. A mine! <laughs> <laughs> God. I've got this. I don't know if you can still hear me. I'm like on the other side of the room. I can hear you. I'm fucking around You'll with this. Be able to see it. You'll be able to see it on the stream. But I've got Rage this. Rig I've on got my this. Minus. I think is that that's Minus Tirith, right? The it should be oh. on the stream in a second. But like, I've got this like thing from Lord of the Rings. It came with the Blu-ray, and then you open it up, and it's like a secret, a secret little compartment. Pretty neat. Uh, that yeah, that. Hold on a minute. I'm trying to look at it. Is that Minas Tirith or is that like Isengard or something? It's the one from Return of the King. It has to be Minas Minas Tirith. Yeah. Um, Why did they cut that scene of Saruman falling from the tower? Fucking I spike. Or... That's what I only watch the extended versions. If I watch them now, like um, if you watch the normal version, it's like, what happened to him? Is he still stuck <laughs> like in the <laughs> in the fucking tower? <laughs> It's a, it was one of the oddest editing choices from the theatrical cuts. You know what's weird is that's the Lord of the Rings movie that won Best Picture. I know, right? That one. Mm. Like, and I loved all of them, but I'm just saying, like, Fellowship, Fellowship. you'd think. Fellowship, Fellowship was the best. Like, yeah, Fellowship was pretty, it's my, probably my favorite. Um, mm. But anyway, right, I'm going to flip a coin. Uh, P, uh, it's either going to be. Call, call, call Engine or Biosyn. <laughs> okay. But I was just going to say, I'm going to show it on the stream. I've actually got a special 50p from the UK, and there was like this range of Peter Rabbit uh, coins. So we've either got, obviously, the Queen on one side, or Squirrel Nutkin on the other. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if you can see that on the stream. Try to get out of there. Squirrel <laughs> Nutkin. Actually, okay, wait, cool. let, me, let me put my camera. I'll make my camera bigger. I look quite orange. Let me let me just change my. I'm getting quite vain now. Let me. Uh... Oh, uh, which Jurassic Park Kenner toy I grew up with? Man, I grew up with so many. If I had to pick one, it'd be the bull from the Lost World. Squirrel Nutkin. Right. <laughs> right. Anyway, so Squirrel Nutkin can be biased. <laughs> and the, and the and queen, engine is the coin. And it's the queen. Uh, let's say because Friday the 13th is a horror let's say that's Biosyn and then Overwatch is quite even though it's war it's quite a nice right. pleasant game and it's speed I, I played such a good game of that the other night I just want to play Overwatch <laughs> okay, okay. I've, I've flipped the coin what whatever is it, what we is land it? on <laughs> shit it's Squirrel Napkin alright we're playing okay. Friday the 13th Friday the 13th it is. I'm booting it up. Um, damn, I might play this in a long time, man. Now, do we have to be on like a similar server or something? I don't know. I'm going to see if you can invite a friend. I think that's how you can 
do it. It did just say you've loaded it up. So it'd be great for a Jurassic Park mod for this game. I think we talked about that before. Yeah, like if they had raptors, like I yeah, said, like like if they had three players playing as raptors and then like a load of people playing as the survivors, and you're like in the in-gen village trying work, like the worker to, village. Yeah, and all you have to do is it's a like you just have to survive until the helicopter arrives. Oh, you know what? You know what? Another thing would be cool. Like since it's so similar to, uh, like the environment of Friday the Thirteenth, similar to the Lockwood Estate. Mm -hmm. like oh my god, the Lockwood Estate! And one of you's the Endoraptor. Yeah, one of you's the Endoraptor. That would be amazing. That would be, wouldn't it? Okay, so I'm just trying to find the thing on the stream, but it's not. Settings. I'm gonna turn the the music settings down real quick, um, and then we can turn the master volume down a bit. I want to stream uh, Torak again on Twitch mm. when I get the chance. That was fun. I don't know. I, I don't know if you can tell, but I really love Torak. Yeah, like you do. Uh, Clayton, do you own the Red Electronic Rex? Uh, actually, no, I've never owned that. Even as a kid, I, I never owned a Red Rex. I owned the young T-Rex from the original Jurassic Park. Oh, God, I love that figure. I do, too. And you know what I love even more than that? I never even saw until I was an adult was the young T-Rex from the Lost World. The green one. That thing goes for, like, 250 or $300. They they repainted the young T-Rex oh, from yeah, the yeah, first. Oh, yeah, the dark green. Yeah, to like dark green, and it's fucking expensive. What was that? I'm just turning the game volume down because I think it's really loud on the stream. Oh. Yeah, man, like, I, I, I never owned a Red Rex. Uh, I had the bull, I had the young one. I had tons of junior T-Rexes. Hmm. The last T-Rex I bought was the... Uh, it was the one from Jurassic Park 3, like the... I don't know how many they made, but it was the standard green one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know the one you mean. I've just Should invited be. you, by the way. Play game. You, I, I guess I accepted the invitation. Cool, and I'm also just going to change the gamma so people can actually see what we're playing, because it's really dark on the stream. Okay. Plus, if I have the gamma a lot, I'll be able to see in the dark. <laughs> Cheating. Cheating. Okay, we're in. Let's let's go into quick play. Alright, I'm already searching for a dedicated server because you jumped in quick play behind you. Um yeah, the React Attack T Rex. It's, it's see hold on. I've got a book right by my desk, Jurassic Park Collectibles. So oh, you bought that book. That looks so cool. It's very cool, man. It's uh, now granted it only goes up to Jurassic World. I mean, so it's missing all the great stuff that Fallen yeah. Kingdom brought. But uh, hold on, let me let me find it. Let, let's see if he had like a code name because it's not like the Canyon T Rex. Yeah, I think. By the way, the game is waiting for you to join. Oh no, you just disappeared. Failed to join party leader's game session. What in the donkey I'm leave. Don't worry, I'm gonna leave again. Okay. Am I on like a wrong server or something? Donkey dick. Are you trying to get my video demonetized, Clayton? Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, invite to party, Clayton. Okay. Shift tab. The good thing about this is we have Overwatch just in case this doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so quick play. Um, oh, fuck, what the hell is his name? It's the T Rex. Yeah, it's just React Attack T Rex. It's the green one with the exposed ribs, where like it's the, the same really, size really, as the Velociraptor. The really, really thin torso. If yeah, you looked at it, it from above. Okay, that was the last so T Rex. Uh, you're in, you're in. Hello. Perfect. All right. I'm going to say I'm ready. I'm ready too. Oh, look, this, we've got Maisie in the, uh, in the thing with us. Maisie? You silly sausage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna mute that Andrew person because they're making stupid noises. Oh, you silly sausage! Great movie. Mm -hmm. uh, she should have died though. Yeah. 
I'm going to mute everyone. All I want to do is talk to you on Friday the 13th. All right. We're going to have to... I, I can they hear in. us? Uh, no, when we're talking, we just talk through Discord. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. We have to push to talk, I think. Um, I played this the other night, and I was Jason for the first time ever. What? I've been Jason all kinds of times. Oh, have you? It was like literally my first time when I was on stream. Yo, Dina is the freak. Um, Dude. And I honestly, like, I killed one person. The loads <laughs> of people got away in, like, a car. Like, I didn't do too well, but I was still proud of it. It was my first go, and I was all I wanted to do was at least kill one person, and I managed to do that. I chopped his arm off in a, in a doorway, in it, and it was, uh, it was either... It was either the Chad character or it was um, Tommy Jarvis. I can't remember which one of the two. Yeah, dude, I have, I've been Jason like tons of times. Oh man, he's probably he's probably like the best person to be. Hmm. Fucking now they're screaming on here. I gotta listen to these fuckers. Oh, you can mute them. Uh, they might be giving valuable information about like where the gas is or where the battery is or right. who's Jason. Maisie's Jason. <laughs> She's a oh, clone. Oh no, She's, She's it's, it's the Jason clone. <laughs> it's Uber Jason. Okay. Friday the Thirteenth, Fallen Kingdom. Was that real? This can't be real. I need to change my gamma settings. They're too too bright now. Hey, mm -hmm. that'll do. So whereabouts are you? Oh shit! Well, uh, I'm by one of the cars. Oh, okay. I, I don't have a map yet, so no, I can't tell I. Exact location. Don't worry, we're gonna fight Jason. Well, the thing is, a couple... are you a girl? No, I am a man oh, with shit. a leather jacket. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm say because bad boy. Okay, I'm a uh, I'm a hipster. Fuck, <laughs> oh, Jack. Um, okay, hold on. Let me let me get out of this house and then I'll go find you. I don't know how to describe my character. He looks. Uh, he looks Actually, I'm gonna he set looks like a he's trap. not in the room. I'm gonna set a trap real quick. They set a okay. trap. They actually set a trap. <laughs> he's so weird when he says I've that. He's like half smiling. They I've actually got, I think set Jason's a trap. Here. Don't get killed by Jason. No, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm running run, down the I'm, road. I'm just running. Well, I've been running down the road, trying to loosen my load. We got seven women on my... I think I might have got away from him. Four that want to own me, two that want to stone me. Well, I was going to say, if one of us was a girl, we'd go... If we meet up, we could go... Yeah, we'd go to the, the shed. Get his yeah, get his bum's thing. I'm with a group of people. Okay, I'm just sort of wandering around the edge of the water. Oh, I got a map. You got a map yet? No, but I can tell you where I am. Oh no, um, okay. so I'm on like there's like a dock out into the river, like an actual like you can see it on the map as kind of like a a re perfect rectangle going into the yeah. Water. There's a there's a couple of those. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, there's still a couple of those. Are you by a car or are you not by a car? I can't. No, I can't see if I'm by a car. Like, the dock I'm on, it's like there's like a little... The best way to describe it is like a little nook in the water in the ground below it. Like, to I the think sort I... of... Are you in a house right now? No. Oh, I can look at your screen on Discord or on a... What oh, is yeah. this called? YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> you, can, you can stream spy on me. If you just look at my um, map, you, if you can find that same shape. Fuck, this is going to be a little difficult. Hope Jason don't come find me. Yes. Yeah, I think here. I know where you are. I'm pretty sure. How far away? Nope, that's not you. You are. Holy shit, Jack, you're like on the opposite side of the map as me. Oh, no. Well, I can come to you. I don't mind sneaking slowly around the edge of the map, like... Dude, my dogs, oh, they're annoying me right now. I can I can slightly hear them. Yeah, they're... Blue and assholes. Delta, right? 
Blue and Delta. I'm ne I'm by one of the exits. I'm by the the north exit. I, I I know exactly where you are now. I see you on the map walking up the road. Yeah. Okay. So. Did you I'm want me to coming. wait here? Did you want me to wait here? or? No, uh, I'm coming right behind a group of people, so we're going to go fuck Jason's day up. Okay, I'm just... <laughs> I'm sorry, Maisie's day up. Macy, His silly sausage. You silly sausage. <laughs> oh, should I give her a spray? There aren't any lions in the forest. There, use that. Heal yourself, you dumb bitch. You jumped out of a fucking three-story Good building. evening, microphone. Lockwood never had a supernatural hockey mask son, so he made one. Again, says British Dinosaur. So he made one. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Alright, I'm I think I'm really close to you because you just went in a house, didn't you? I'm I'm near a house. I can there see you your are. name. Yeah. Do you know how to you know how to run like? Yeah, yeah. But the thing is okay. when you run, he can see you. You said you're a hipster? You look more like John Tron. John Tron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, he's near. Okay. He's near. Clayton, I'm I'm gonna go walk. Because if you run, he can see you. Like how you're running. Well, I'm that well it's jogging. Running is like where you're full on sprint. How how do you jog? Just tap X once and you're jogging. Oh I did I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. I thought Oh it does use some of your stamina. Yeah, but like nowhere near as much. I'm just trying because right. because but, when neither of us are a woman, I was like, maybe we should just if we want to survive this thing, we should try and call the police, and uh -huh. then go to the exit where the police turn up. But I think this is a dead end. I'm looking at the map. I don't think British Tyrannosaur going. said, "Shame none of us are final girls. You don't have to be a woman to be a final person." As no, 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 no. I mean, like Ash we get and the... Evil Dead. He's the final man. <laughs> oh, you're talking like that. Shame on you. Final. Is that what final girls means? Yeah. Like the final one to live. Okay. What did you think of Matt? I thought that was like some sort of TV show. <laughs> like the no. Golden Girls. But I thought it was the final girls. <laughs> oh, God. The, the <laughs> final girls. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's... uh. I'm going to try and find the phone. I'm trying to get to a house, but every time I walk, there's like water. Follow the edge. Well, the he's, he's busy attacking them, so. Yeah, that's what I mean. We can, yeah. While they're there, we can like explore around and see if we can find anything. That way, we're at least helping a little bit. Hmm. Uh, let's see. There's a fire up here, so there might be like a pocket knife or something. Yeah, I've got a machete. But I got I just, a baseball bat. I just tripped and made a load of noise. Uh, we got a fire up here. There's a fire! There's a stick. <laughs> Fired base cab! Who started the fire? I just wanted dinner ready for the time you guys got back. <laughs> you see any family resemblance between these two? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a high practically told me park. to go. <laughs> oh, see, you walk like with your sword out. I didn't, I didn't realize there was all these controls. Dude. I've been playing this like an ass. Oh, God. <laughs> music. I don't know if the music's just freaking me out because sometimes it does that. Yeah, sometimes it does. I don't think he's near you. But we yeah. definitely need to start. Uh... Yeah, there's, like a, there's a couple of houses come, uh, coming up. I'm going to see if I can find a phone. Call the police. That's, that's all we want, is to call the police. Oh, they locked the door. I don't, think, it's, I don't think they're going to be. it's going to be in here then. If yeah, they've there. already been to both these houses. Because oh. that one's locked and that one. So okay, we'll go to this one. You lead the way. Come on. All right. All right Roland. Let's, let's do it. I'm RJ. Roland. I'll... Uh... <laughs> RJ, look out! Jump! <laughs> British Tyrannosaur says Clayton exposed for mocking the Lost World live on stream. For what? For mocking the Lost? <laughs> yeah. I'm not mocking it. Just. I do love that movie, but like, I was. <laughs> I don't think anyone's was... outside, Clayton. I'm just saying. Do you really. You some... don't like the Lost World, Clayton? No, it's the worst. 
You know what though? Like I rewatched it with my nine year old sister. Mm. And like through the eyes of a child you can really see like what's Weather. a legit problem and what isn't. Yeah. And she was like, Yeah, that's my least favorite out of all of them. But she still wow. liked it. But she was she made it clear she, she was like, That one was like no. when we watched she hasn't seen all of Jurassic Park three yet. She's seen all of them, except for Jurassic Park three. Mm. She's only seen the part in JP three where they uh like where they lock the door, the wooden door or whatever it is. Oh god, he's here, he's here. I'm coming, I'm coming. He's right here. Like is he in the house? Uh he's coming in. Oh, he's on me. He's on me. Okay, I'm coming now. I'm gonna dive out the window. No, 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 no. Stay I'm in the house, stay in the house. Oh no, I've, I've dived Wait, out. Whoa! I've got a machete, oh, so we can We can take master. him on. Both of us. I don't think we can take him on, Jack. Yeah, I'm Yo, right behind watch. him. I'm right behind him. I'm watching him take down the door. I'm like just stood right behind him. I I have stunned him. I stunned him. I'm making okay, a run okay. for it. Go meet me at the next house. Yeah. Wait, which which house are you going to? The Oh, I'm by, by a car. Oh, Jason's on me, Jesus. I'm coming, I'm coming. Ah! You're right past here. the fucking house. <laughs> Hold on, I'm coming. I want to just dive through a window. Can I do yeah, that? Go, in, go into a window. Yes. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, Dude. Oh, oh. I'm here. I'm here. I'm really wounded. Uh, you're, you're okay, though. You're, you're not like Where living it. Grab, grab a baseball bat if you can. Cause it's I've, got, like a I've got a machete. Isn't that good? No, nah, a baseball, baseball bat's better. Is it? Because we're just trying to stun him. Oh shit, he just entered like fucking rage mode or something. Oh, what is that, an update? Yeah. Should we, should we, are we gonna dive out this window? Not yet. We're gonna wait for wait, him to come in. Wait, there's two windows, there's two windows. We'll dive out of each. Okay. I can run and dive right. out. Just wait for him to in. come in, yeah, and yeah. then he's gonna step in that trap. <laughs> My guy's face looks hilarious. Here he is. Oh, he just... All right. Oh, he, he hit me with a fucking... Oh, no! Oh god, he's in. Bye. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm coming. Really... Oh, he put a trap by the fucking wind. And I died. You died? So did he just quit? Oh shit. Well, no, no, I'm there's gonna... loads of people left. No, I think oh, no, you, you probably... I died. Oh, I I'm about you... to die too. Yeah, I'm watching you. <laughs> oh yeah, you god, straight in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is my favorite right. bit of the stream now, is watching the survivors, because it's like watching a mini horror film. Ooh, look at this one girl with no clothes on. I know, true Friday the 13th uh, tradition yeah. there. Tom All right, we got guy. Tommy. They they found the... They're playing He's the got, game. like, glowing hair. He looked yeah. like he had glowing hair. Oh, wow, yeah, you're right. Second. Jesus. I like playing as Tommy Jarvis because he looks a little bit like me. So I'm like. <laughs> Are they called the police? Come on. Yeah. See, this is what I mean. We, like, we could have hidden in, in the bushes and then just slowly walked our way to the exits <laughs> without Jason even knowing where we are. Because he always goes to the houses and stuff. So it's very hard for Jason to find people if they're just slowly walking around the edges of the map. How the fuck did that body get up in the corner of that house? You Bobby? see that? Where? It's. Turn your camera around. Okay. Is it not? Sh is it not showing up for you? <laughs> Looking at some lady's butt. Wait one second. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it's... that. Um... <laughs> no, I don't think it's showing up on your screen, man. No, I see I a fucking think. body like that's been Freddy Krueger to the side of like a. A wall. Like up in the corner of the. Uh house all right so jason's yeah he's coming in. he coming oh lord he coming dino the freak says michael Crichton makes a jurassic park novel spielberg i'm about to solidify this man's whole career no he, michael Crichton was already a hit before jurassic park you know i i was uh editing the audio on a video today mm. for the andromeda stream um 
You know, I really like that book. Oh, the Andromeda That's, Strain is so good. It's terrifying. It's great. It's a great book. The only I tried to watch the movie. Thirty minutes in, I fell asleep. Yeah, yeah. So I wasn't it a made-for-TV movie? Oh, it was. I did not I think, know that. I think so. Yeah, it's it's definitely. And what's weird is like what I saw. It looked like it was following the novel really faithfully, but unfortunately, <laughs> like it just it was boring as fuck. Look how this person's got Jason like perfectly. Yeah, he's just by a table. running around the the table. Karloff's. Is she about to? I don't know. Well, the police quite, arrive in under three minutes, so. Yeah, you know that person outside's like making the dash for the woods somewhere. But this this person, I don't know if they're quite as savvy as uh, everybody else. No, it's the other person. Oh, you... I know she's still around the house. No, she, uh -oh. yeah, she's she's. She's being get getting got. She, she back she back in the house. British Tranosaur says, Jack, I thought this was a family friendly stream. Family friendly Felix. You ever what? watch PewDiePie's videos? I, I do actually. They're fucking hilarious. A I few just... years ago he had this one thing to where like when YouTube started demonetizing everybody, he made this song like family friendly Felix. <laughs> family friendly Felix family friendly Felix I love money too much <laughs> <laughs> it was like a legit like it had to it and everything it's funny as hell it's, it's funny cause uh oh, man, kill her yeah. Jason yeah, fuck that bitch's day up oh what did you do that for she wrenched him get him Jason she ain't gonna be in part 2 yeah she's dead Yo, I just got out of the, uh, I think you already know, I just saw mm. the movie Crawl. Yeah, like, I forgot that movie was coming out. Like, it's about, like, Pretty a good, house man. flooding and crocodiles coming in. Yeah. Or something. Uh, alligators. Sandwich. Alligators. Pretty good movie. Mm. Um, definitely the best alligator movie I've ever seen. <laughs> that's not, that's I liked not, Rogue. Uh, that's not Rogue. speaking much, though. I mean, Rogue was, Rogue was good. Rogue is the I best think... crocodile movie. Okay, well then this is the best alligator movie. Okay. Yeah. It's so weird because I, we both watched uh, Lake Placid, of course. That was like all we had. Yeah. <laughs> Except for that alligator movie from like the fucking 80s. What? She just glitched one? and is perfectly... No, no, no. No, no she, she stabbed him with a, a pocket knife. Yeah, but all her blood disappeared and everything. She was damaged. Oh, now really? she can wow. run really fast. I don't know. Maybe she's a fucking hacker. Like Lex. Mm. <laughs> That's what I said. You're a nerd. I prefer to be called a hacker. Alligator is fun, British Tyrannosaur. Um, yeah, he's got a... Oh! oh! Tommy Jarvis coming with the shotgun. Now he's running. That was good. <laughs> oh, you just pissed Maisie off. But I mean, is he going to get out? Because he's only got seven seconds till the police arrive, so all he has to do is make it to the. Uh, end. Yeah, but. But is he going to the know. right end? That's the question. Because it could be either of the two exits. He's he's, he's got a map. He's got a map. He'll probably figure it. Yeah, he's going. He's going into the bushes. Like he's trying to lose. He's doing Did my you know tactic. They... Do you know they made a sequel to Alligator? I did. Yeah. Have you seen it? No. I think Maybe. I might see it in the near future. Hint, hint. It might oh, be hiding oh. in the dark depths of something. <laughs> in, oh, God. And it might reveal its ugly head at some point in the future. Oh, look at this. Oh, I've got that... this great shot of Tommy Jarvis. Yeah, I see it on your screen. <laughs> that fucking uh, Toby Hooper crocodile movie. <laughs> Jurassic Park 3. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jurassic Park 3? Yeah, it's Jurassic Park 3. Someone puts eggs the crocs eggs in a bag and then it oh, gets angry and, yeah. until they give the eggs back to it at the end and then it walks away that movie was terrible oh, all right he's, he's gonna kill him oh, oh no. he's got the pocket knife oh my god can he do it come on tommy one of us has to live yes he did it <laughs> he, he did just, it he just he said he said a bad word to him while he was running <laughs> he called him something Leave it at that. 
Oh my god. Um, yeah, but uh, fucking dude, Toby Hooper's crocodile movie. What the hell is that? Uh, it's just insane. So bad. The second one was bad, which has nothing to do with I, the first one. I saw the second one back in the day. That's the one with like the the what are they bank robbers or terrorists or something <laughs> yeah. where they're walking all cool in slow motion on the airport. Mm. Uh, that fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than the first one. It was more entertaining. That's what I was always afraid Jurassic Park would turn into, because that's where they were going with in the third one. Like they were yeah. getting there, where it was just like a fucking something's eating somebody somewhere. Yeah. Oh, we crash landed on East Lasorna. <laughs> <laughs> Good golly, Cooper. Go golly me like in jurassic park 3 where like if you watch when nash gets ripped out of the fucking plane if you look at the expressions on their faces you've got like paul kirby <laughs> doing his best ned flanders where he's like got his hand on his like oh god this is not a good day <laughs> like <laughs> it's a fucking serious situation bro and dude nash is overreacting in that like his ah, <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 and it, it fucking Amanda's looking at him. <laughs> fucking Grant's probably trying to get out of the plane on the back end. <laughs> God. Oh God! It's that fucking film. screams. It, it, like, that's that's wait, Toby wait. Hooper. That's Toby Hooper. He directed. That's Crocodile. Toby. <laughs> oh, here's a question. You think Toby Hooper really directed Poltergeist? Yes. You do think that. Yeah, I think Spielberg I... had a, a big hand in it, but I think Toby I mean, Hooper, he did he direct the majority it. of it. There's certain things that happen in that film, I'm like, I don't see Spielberg doing that. The He's... guy pulling that his movie... face off in the mirror, I don't see that being Spielberg. That's no, too, but that's like, too that Toby movie Hooper. feels like Close Encounters of the Third Kind Part 2, to me. Like, that's what it feels like. It, yeah, I get that. I do get that. Yeah, I can, I can see where you're coming from with that. All right, we're going to make it, Jack. I don't know what if I'm oh, Jason. Oh, you're Jason. What if I'm Jason? You're I Jason. I am Jason. You are Jason. How do you know oh, so you... quickly? Press tab. If you're ah, at the top of the thing, yeah, that, okay. that means you're Jason. So you're Ooh. part two, Jason. Yeah. You're big old like hillbilly Jason. I'm baghead Jason. Now don't don't cheat. Like They're don't there, don't protect Jason. me or anything. You have to actually like yeah, I'm I don't want them getting clean. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you specifically. I'm not going after anyone Fuck. else. I didn't mean that you should do that. But that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm, right, co I'm right. coming for you, Clayton. But the thing is, you can stream snipe me. That's the that's. Where I can, you have but the like you've got all these fucking superpowers that Jason called upon. You know something cool? Have you ever seen uh, what the fuck's the name of that? Oh, I Jason forgot I can morph. Yeah, man. I forgot I can morph. Let's morph. It's morphin' time. time. It's morphin' time! <laughs> I hear someone screaming. Tyrannosaurus! <laughs> Jason! <laughs> I was gonna edit, uh, edit something about a year ago, the Power Rangers, and I was gonna have, you know where he says, uh, Tyrannosaurus! I was gonna like edit Roland Timbo, like in that little foil squiggle, like, male, fuck only! <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, that would be great. It's tempo time! Oh god. <laughs> did you grow up watching that? The original Seriously. Power Rangers? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did too. I remember the movie was the thing that killed it for me. <laughs> as soon as one of them turned into a frog, I was like, I'm done. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember when he, uh, he got... They all got. Sh they Talk all got... about demoted. He goes from being a fucking mastodon to being a fucking frog. frog. Yeah, I know. It's like, <laughs> and they and their suits become like cloths. Yeah, their ninja suits or whatever. By the way, barely any of those were dinosaurs. Take the dinosaurs, like T Rex, Triceratops, Terrafuckendactyl, Mastodon, and Sabertooth Tiger. I love the inclusion of the uh, mammalian uh, creatures. I say age animals. Ah, shift is available. Well, you're not getting away from me long. 
Yeah, there you go. That's right. Have you? That's right. Have you killed anybody yet? I'm killing a woman right now. Mm. Uh oh. Oh, uh -oh. she got me. I got some firecrackers. <sighs> you know where you can stick those firecrackers, Clayton? Shut up. They're going straight for you, man. <laughs> this woman's tough. She's not leaving. Yeah, she is now. Oh, did you kill her? Yeah, she left reality. Oh. She left reality. <laughs> is someone hiding in this cupboard? Why do I feel like someone's hiding in this cupboard? No. Okay. What about, uh, what hey, other what? shows did you watch as a- Oh, I can't morph? Oh, does it yeah, charge? It has a cool off. Oh, okay. Did you ever watch Swatch Cat? Uh, Swatch. Swat Cats? No. Do you, do you even know what that is? No. Damn. Did it have like a ginger cat in it and it was part of the police force? No. Okay, so it's not Are you talking about bonkers? Might have been bonkers I'm talking about. <laughs> With like the one orange like cheetah thing is on the police force? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Bonkers. Let's Michael Farm says, uh, oh no, British Tyrannosaur, sorry, says Jack is on the hunt for Innocent Virgin 50p DVDs. Innocent what? 50p DVDs. That's, that's. Basically 50 pound? No, 50p. 50 pence. That's, oh. uh, that's what I fill the black sack with. <laughs> oh, that door just went down like anything. That went down super nice. That girl just went down. That girl. That door just went down. You really want my video to be demonetized, Clayton. Jeez. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Filthy Thank you. mouth. Get some soap. Wash it out, young man. I feel like that's what is that movie? Oh shit, I'm scared. But yeah, like just to go back to Power Rangers, as soon as I saw them change into those, I was like, yeah, I'm done. I'm like, they, they, I was out. I was like, they, but they, they fought the fucking dinosaur skeleton in that. Yeah, that was that was what I went to the cinema to see it for. Was just that scene. I think they even referenced Jurassic Park. God, I think they did. They were like. So like they, the, the original Power Rangers, that like half that show was actually, are they upstairs? Japanese, yeah. I think they're upstairs. Go, go Power Rangers! Oh, they're all in here. Can you imagine if they actually... What, what, what would the world be like if we grew up watching that law? Series where there was like a fucking slug T Rex and. Sorry, what were you saying? I'm sorry, I was just distracted for a second. What would the world be like if we grew up watching that law anime? Oh god. We're like, we're like, there's slug T Rexes and two headed T Rexes and bio mm -hmm. suit people. Um. Well, obviously, it goes without saying that we wouldn't be where we are today, but at the same time. I don't think the franchise would be dead. Nah, man. Like, I... People don't understand, like... I think it would... Yeah, it would be like... There'd be a new film out or something. Probably would have accepted it. Open. Directed by Michael Bay. I I didn't... Ne I never had an issue with Chaos Effect. Did you? I did when I was younger, yeah. Why? Like, uh, because I genuinely, at the time, thought that... I liked the 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 grounded feeling the dinosaurs of the original film had like and I was one of those kids when I was younger who didn't see the different coloration I always thought they were all brown and I was like oh I like that because they're like rhinos and elephants how they're like sort of similar colors but they're different yeah. animals and all that and then when I saw these outlandish ridiculous colors I was like no this isn't Jurassic but then, so it was the as, colors that got you. It was the colors and the not necessarily the hybridness that didn't bother me too much. I just didn't like it, the execution of that idea. But the um, but as I've grown older, obviously I've come to really appreciate the ideas behind it and love the style. Like I, I'm now a full on. Uh, yeah, I really like it too. No, I mean I'm right. I'm making my whole bloody cartoon series inspired by it. So. It's, <laughs> Right, right. I, I, I liked it though back in the day. I, I never had an issue. Can you destroy the car? 
Just trying no. To see. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can bust it up so you can't get out. Oh, mean. Yeah, I mean, like if Chaos Effect was a thing, I I probably I wouldn't have even like that was Jurassic Park three, as far as I was concerned. Ah, someone jumped into the water. Fuck. <laughs> no! I, I wonder who that is. No. Fuck you. Hit him. Don't go into the long grass. Jason's in the long grass. Oh. Where did she no go? Gonna, I, can, I don't know. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, no mercy. Unless, okay, third person to die, it's not that. <laughs> Damn, you fucked a lot of people up! Yes, I have, and I already know oh, where the rest of them are as well. Covered in scars? You did say, <sighs> don't give you any mercy thing. I'm, I'm yeah, that's true, my word. I did say that. I'm a man of my word. I made it quick for you, Clayton. I didn't give you any embarrassing, like, <laughs> putting your head on a bird bath and kicking um, it or anything like that. Rexy suffered a bad case of ragged tooth for near jawline. Looks like it hurts for her just to close her mouth. That is true. It does look like the new animals, like the hybrids, it looks painful. Mm. In my opinion. I mean, they're probably not in any pain, but like, that was, the ominous... Uh... That was my the... writing, the ragged tooth. That was me. I added that in. Oh. Look at mainly because I thought, like, to make it more real, <laughs> the fact that she's been on that island yeah, for that long, yeah. like, she wouldn't just be like stomping Perfectly around fine. perfectly. Yeah. There's someone in this house. This house is clean. <laughs> I I uh. The mouth of the Indominus, though, like that that crocodilian, like s snaggly, mm. looks gross. It's fucking cool. It looks like a genetic dinosaur, like it's supposed to. <laughs> Look at this. You, know? you probably see this on the stream. This person can hear the music. <laughs> They're hiding in the bathroom. They have no idea I'm here, or at least they think I am here. No, they know you're there. Go ahead and kill him. Pick him up and fucking. <laughs> the thing is, I've trapped them. Like, <laughs> I knew that would happen. Uh, oh, mm, good yeah, good. Rage is active. I don't need it. They deserve to die. <laughs> that was so cruel. Nah, suffer. dude, you gotta do a cool kill. Oh, you just murdered. Right now, let's. You gotta just... like grab them and press one, two, three, or four. Right, so no one's in that house. Did people get away? I don't know. Oh, they left. There's one person. Oh, there's a car. I can't. How do They're you both how do you do your morph somewhere. thing? Uh, I th what like teleportation or like shift? Shift. I think it's three. Oh no, it's not that. It's I want to know how to do the morph on the map. It's morph Try... time. It's morphin time. Try yeah, it one. Doesn't, it doesn't say. It just says M for back. Imagine if they went with that Indoraptor design where it had creepy growths all over its face. Yeah, that I, I like that a lot, but I think that that would have been a bridge too far because you would have had people bitching about it. Even though it looks great. Like, I'm all for the science fiction stuff, but I'm a book guy, so that might mm. be... You know, a lot of people don't even know they're based on books. Yeah. I am. I liked it though. Like I thought that that the growth stuff on its face, like it didn't need to be there, but the fact that it was there, it was just a, such a cool concept that it, it was. It looked like it was painful to live for that animal. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They even the like. What do they say in the behind the scenes? Like they made it so it looked like it was losing scales and all that. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know where they are. Oh, I know where like they are. Like they're decaying. <laughs> that was a great part of the books, too, is when, uh, oh. when they give all this information on how they stink. Like, you can, they smell like rotted flesh. Mm. Like Frankenstein. Yeah, that's why I like, like in the when Owen says like, "Oh, she stinks!" Like talking oh, about the Oh, she stinks! Tea. Yeah. Hey, guess what? Oh, I can do that more thing now. I think they're all in here. Yep, yeah, there's someone in there. <laughs> that girl's trying to get under. I'm not gonna tell you where they are. I'm not gonna <laughs> cheat. Trying to get under. Right, what can they get under? That's what I want to know. Well, never mind. I didn't say that. <laughs> Here's Johnny. Right, just check the floor. Is there any traps? Nope. I hear ya. The beast cannot see you, but he can still smell you. Oh my god, that motherfucker's dead. Why can I hear someone screaming but I can't see anyone? Wearing like... their invisibility cloak. Maybe they're actually out here. Ah, they changed house. What was all that green goo on Rexy and Fallen Kingdom anyway? I thought that was like slime. Like some sort of yuck shit. On our body. Yeah, Jack, you gotta kill one properly. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get closer. How do you grab? <laughs> to grab the. It's it's the right mouse click. Oh, that's how you grab them. Yeah. Oh, I did. I've seen. I haven't played as Jason much, so. Oh God. <laughs> They're probably. That's why everyone left. They're like, this motherfucker's just hit pickaxe. <laughs> Thing is, uh, what... their escape is right here, so they're they're not going anywhere, <laughs> unless they just yeah, quit. yeah, Michael Tharm, it's in her, it's in her mouth, like it's snot, isn't it? Is it sn no? I thought it was like slime from the eye or the mouth. It's not from the nose. Oh, you mean when it goes all over Chris? When Pratt. he when he like yeah yeah when he moves his face and yeah, it's a saliva yeah, yeah from the corner yeah of the saliva mouth. yeah. It's fucking gross though. This kind of reminds me of the original Jurassic Park. Only the original ah, I got Jurassic trap Park. Trap behind the door. Oh god, this is horrible. Oh god. <laughs> oh, I fucked that up completely. <laughs> just, just gonna scare them now. When's the last time you watched Jurassic Park one? Um. Probably about. It was this year. It's been a few months for me. Yeah, it was this year for definite. Yeah. You're gonna. Yeah. So. Someone's running all the way. The there. first movie, um, you kind of forget how funny it is. Like we were, we were talking about the scene in Fallen Kingdom where there's saliva on the T Rex or on uh, Owen Grady's face, and then like the first movie when that Brachiosaurus like sneezes snot all over, uh, all over Lex, like a gross out. That's a very Goonies style scene. Alright, you're trying to kill her. I know, they keep jumping out of the windows and stuff, so all I've got to do is try and fake them. You know you can do you know you can put down traps? Yeah. But oh you already you already did that okay. She let she's, she's about to do it again that That's all I need to do is show my face around this side. I'm just gonna do it again. And then Here's shift, a question for the chat. Shift all the way back into the house quickly. Here's a question for the chat. Which Jurassic Park movie do you think 
or which Jurassic Park sequel do you think is the most tame and yeah. least violent? Jurassic Park 3, definitely. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I want to ask. Let's <laughs> we'll see what they say. Spoilers. It's Jurassic Park 3. Oh, look. Okay, Dino says JP3 by far. Mike says JP3. Uh, got JP3, JP3 from Titan of Serpents and Stupid Dinosaur. I think. I think for me, it goes JP3 and then Jurassic World. And then, if we're talking about just sequels, then Fallen Kingdom, then Lost World. British Tyrannosaur said Lego Jurassic World the Indominus Escapes. <laughs> yeah. I've still never seen Two that. minutes. Fallen Kingdom felt like it was way more visceral than it ended up being due to studio interference. Um I don't know. I don't exactly know how the production of like what exactly goes on, but I I feel like they're free to do whatever they want. Unless they do something fucking crazy and stupid. Like, I don't... I One thing I, I've heard is, like, Universal technically... Like, I don't think they overrule Steven Spielberg. I think he has last say-so in pretty much everything. Oh, yeah. I did like the secret exhibit. Trespasser. I still I haven't mean, seen. I still haven't seen the second Lego. Oh, movie. dude, you should check it out. I've I haven't seen the first one. You need to see this. Uh, never so clever as this. Uh, Trespasser. I really love that game, even though it's got problems, uh, like a lot of problems. <laughs> uh, the final, like the new version, where it's like fully playable, I think is great. Oh, she oh, had a fucking shit. pocket knife, Jack. Yeah, I know. She's getting away! Yeah, but I'm Jason. I'm Jason. You got like 30 seconds to kill her. Yeah, that's right. I'm really happy with my stream of Jason this time. Because I've oh. killed like a number of people, including the famous Clayton. Took him out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. great. I can put that on my uh, you know, Tombstone. channel. I'm going to make loads of videos about this. <laughs> Killing Clayton in Friday the 13th. Clayton Freak Fury destroyed. <laughs> That's gonna be the video. <laughs> yeah, I guess JP3 wins. It's the most. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely the most child friendly. I killed I half. Think. There you go. Four out of eight. That's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Better than one. <laughs> Two out of three ain't bad. My sweet. Come you know, to mommy. My dear mother, she still compliments me. She says, I'm proud of you. Come home. So it's like, cool. Thanks, Mum. Oh, man. We do need a new Jurassic game. That, like, I don't know how they'd incorporate multiplayer, mm -hmm. but it would be a cool idea. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Maisie, Maisie lived. Maisie escaped both the Indoraptor and fucking Jason. I know, right? Maisie, Maisie was Jason as well. Yeah, that's true. Um, what was I getting? There was something mentioned a few minutes ago, and I just had a thought about something, but I've forgotten. Was it about um, the Brachiosaurus sneezing? <laughs> no. Um, what, what were we talking about? It was between uh, the T Rex stinking and. What we're talking about now games there's something in between then trespasser no before that oh. which one is the most uh least violent that's it series? yeah 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 that's what we were it's talking J about it's definitely it's just part free yeah that one's definitely the most kid friendly mm. which is fine for like that's what it wanted to be so i mean it's funny because like i i just remember the feeling I had coming out of that film when I was what 12 11 or 12 did you so you hate did you not like it like immediately I knew I, I knew I didn't like it as much as the other two yeah I actually was fine with it for a good year mm. like for a good year I loved Jurassic Park 3 from like 01 to 02 
Yeah. And then like slowly, like the you know I started thinking about it differently, and now all the way to today to where like I don't really need it. Mm. Um, you know, it's it it is what it is. It's fine. Yeah. There's people that fucking love it, and I I understand why they love. It. Well, the thing is, like, I just remember thinking that it was so quick, and my like my initial reactions were I didn't like the runtime. I didn't. I admittedly I was gutted by the death of the T Rex, but not because right. the T Rex died, but more so how quick it was done. I was like shocked. I was like, "Oh, that!" And it happened right off the bat, and and all, I was also really annoyed by the lack of a third or like a third act, really, like a whole yeah ending. It, that story structure for that movie is really weird. Like it, mm. it, you can tell that they just stopped. Yeah, because that like, did you feel cheated? Because there was a certain point in time. Yeah, where, that's, like, that's I thought about good the movie. Way of I was like, it. why? I felt kind of like you. You were you weren't getting the full. The full experience that you were promised. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But the thing was, I, I still liked it. I was like, I, I do want to watch this a lot and take it in. But, um, dude, there was a part, there was a point in time where I straight up hated that. I don't need more. But there yeah. was many years where, because you blame it also for, it is the reason there wasn't a movie for a time. Yeah, like it's, it's one of the big reasons that movie did not do well. Hmm. Like critics no. are one thing. Well, it, it made it like, made a fair bit, but it was nowhere. Uh, oh, yeah, look, it, I'm Chad. Yes. Crazy. It didn't make much, man. It made that one was the most expensive. It was like ninety million dollar movie, and mm. it took home like I think three hundred and seventy million. Yeah, which which is not like when you're when you're like the Lost World was on a seventy million dollar budget. And it took him like six hundred and thirty something mil. Oh yeah, no, don't get me wrong. It was nowhere near as good as the others, but it it wasn't like. Well, I'm not even talking about good. I'm just oh, talking no, about like what I mean I'm... is it wasn't it wasn't enough to kill, um, kill off Jurassic entirely, because they were still. Uh, oh, they were trying to make part four for years. Yeah, so like they they were still like had confidence in in the brand. Um, they just didn't know what to do. They just didn't know like, what to do yeah. with it, and then, yeah. and then, obviously, interest lost. Uh, mm. People lost interest, and the thing is, um, Jurassic Park Three had a had a thing to do with that, uh, because after a while, people were just like being more vocal about like how they didn't like the third one as much as the other two, and then Universal. Well, yeah. Uh, Wait, first, how do you put a was, trap down? Uh, you hold down the mouse button. You hold it down, okay. Ah. Yeah, like, uh, well, remember, not a lot of people liked Lost World. And mm. that's what people thought was terrible at first. By the way, and can you get they... trapped in your own traps? Hell yeah, you can. You better not do that, dude. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get out of this house. Someone's you know, approaching me. Who is it? It's not you. Oh, it's May. Wait. It's Maisie. It's Maisie. I thought I thought Maisie was Jason for a second, but I was like, it wouldn't show that. Mario name. is Jason. <laughs> Mario. Yeah, just dude, just the third one. See, and, and like a year after that, they were doing Project Evolution at Universal Studios. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. They didn't know what the fuck to do. They just need to make it crazier. I mean. I, I kind of get where they're coming from with that, like, but it was totally the wrong way. Yeah, exactly. And that is it's funny because no one, I don't remember anyone aside Talking from about maybe, that back then? No, no, like, um, anyone back in the day uh, talking about the idea of an open theme park. I just remember that... Oh, um, yeah, no, yeah, we thought, I, I thought we were way past that, like, we were way past parks in general. I thought from JP3 onward, it would just be, oh, how are they going to get lost on the island this time? Hmm. Well, the thing is, it's like, outside of maybe some fan fictions, I didn't hear anything about like an open theme park. Because like, it seemed, admittedly, it seemed like, like you said, we were like, we were past that. And like, then I, in my head, I used to brush that idea off really quickly. And I remember when the, um, 
I've got a video I might upload it at some point in the near future as like a laugh but like there's a video I made in 2013 when the Joe Blow leaks happened and it was like um, you know they were talking about the uh, the open theme park and the tamed T-Rex and all this sort of stuff and the tamed was, T-Rex? And everyone was freaking out about it they were like there's raptors who have to trained raptors have to go on a hunt for an, a hybrid dinosaur and a, and a tame T-Rex fights it. That's the way they worded it. It was like in this big leak. And and I remember making a video saying how I really don't like the idea of an open theme park. Because I said it goes against the whole idea of Jurassic Park. Damn, Jason just killed me by sticking my head in the toilet. <laughs> but yeah, so I used to say that like I don't I don't like the idea of a uh, open theme park because I think it goes against all what was said in Jurassic Park. The only reason you believe I'm... that, though, is because there have been two movies about getting lost on a fucking island. No, 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 I, I like... Uh, the, the idea of an open theme park was what I, I thought was against yeah. the idea of Jurassic Park. But the, my point is that seeing Jurassic World was what convinced me, because I was like, actually, this would work. And obviously I got the opportunity to sort of sell the idea more to myself <laughs> when we were writing content for uh, the marketing I was like oh, I, thought, got... I always thought that was a cool idea but that was the thing it's like I thought well I was someone who didn't like the idea of an open theme park but if I if I had to go along with that idea which is what it was looking like obviously concerning the um, what was going to happen in the in the film right. I was like <clears throat> actually well then I'll write it so I'll write it for the people out there like myself, like the content, and me and Tim did that. So I was won over by the concept of an open theme park just by the context and the way it was executed in Jurassic World. Admittedly, that's like if I was to direct a Jurassic Park 4 after Jurassic Park 3, I wouldn't do it that way. I, I, I would go I, with a different story. I'd do more probably dinosaurs appearing on the Costa Rican mainland and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, and, and that was... yeah. But I, that doesn't mean I don't really love the idea of what's in Jurassic World because that's another equally fantastic idea which I used to brush off because I thought it would be ridiculous but then I, would, I basically I just didn't give it enough thought and I didn't give it as much thought as what obviously what Colin did because he... Right. wrote and well, directed this film which you really have to think of it works with the context you have to think about it in two different mindsets too like we we think about it like just a story like what we want to see mm. there's also and they learned this on jurassic park 3 you have to think about what sells mm -hmm. because they thought you know oh a bigger dinosaur you know and that didn't work you know what I mean? Like the, the Spinosaurus did not get butts and seats. Yeah, not enough, anyways. I mean, like you yeah, have exactly. to. Whenever you do a movie, like and and people need to get it out of their heads. Like, oh, that's suffering. The artist is suffering for their art or whatever. It's like, no, 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 no. There's not going to be any more art if you don't make something that people want to come and see. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Like, and that's why Jurassic World was the open theme. That's why. Mm. And it was cool. Yeah, it was, open theme yeah. park. Oh god, Jason! Fucking... I'm walking straight into Jason. Christ, he's coming. I see you. Oh god, that's a girl. She's got. She's been got. He goes back to like, you know, it's the same reason they changed the ending in the original part to have the T-Rex fight the Raptors coming out of nowhere. It's because it's fucking cool. Hmm. That's what people wanted to see. Spielberg always said, it's in the lost world making it. He said, oh, oh you're gosh. about to die. Yeah. Oh, he got you. Oh, he's going to punch a hole through you. Check this shit out. Bop. Wow. Holy yeah. crap, look at that. <laughs> That's like his guts and stuff on the floor back there. Like there was a, perfectly ho a perfect hole in his body. Is that even physically possible? Oh, and there's a car. Yeah, there are two people in the car. They're Have you seen the film Kung them. Pao? Not in fucking 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, that's what I was just quoting. I haven't seen scene. Kung Pao in fucking years. You know when he punches the hole straight for his body. 
Yeah. That's one of my favourite comedy films ever. The Steve, uh, Stephen Oderick, like Steve Oderick, who directed that. The only mm. two films I know he's directed, um, and I think wrote, was Kung Pao Enter the Fist and um, uh, Ace Ventura 2, When Nature Calls, which is my... That, old, I, I like which, the second one, Ace Ventura more first. Yeah, the second Ace Ventura... Oh, they got away as well. The second Ace Ventura film is my favourite comedy film. It's so yeah. funny. Like a glub. Oh, it's just like <laughs> the urine stain on your pants in syndicates. <laughs> what is it? No, what's the quote? He says, "The urine stain on your pants indicates that you're a single shake man, far too busy for the follow-up jiggle." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who is this ghastly man? Ace Ventura, Bet Detective, and he must be the Monopoly guy. <laughs> Do not fast go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. What do you think of that, Mister Captain Compost? It's a fucking whole movie. Yeah, and it's like the director of that did Kung Pao into the Fist, and he's the guy who's in Kung Pao into the Fist. That's the director, the guy who plays really? the chosen one. Yeah, that's him. Genius. He's like, he's he's a ge- he was a genius of comedy. Do you ever see uh the Chris Farley movie with fucking Luke Kang from Mortal Kombat? Uh, Beverly Hills Ninja or something was called. I've heard of it. Yeah, I haven't seen. Fuck, it. It's a ridiculous movie. They hate him because he's like white and <laughs> but fucking. It's 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 real funny. <laughs> I need to watch that. Got Jonah um, Hill here. Jonah Hill. I just got done watching uh, the Wolf. Of- I'm sure you've seen that, haven't you? Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. With Leonardo enjoy DiCaprio. It. I didn't enjoy You didn't it. like it? No. Me and well, me and my wife went to see it at the cinema and everyone was cracking up and we were just sitting there going, We're not enjoying this. Like we both sat there, looked at each other like I am not I w I didn't find it that like funny. I, I loved it. I know, I, I, I it felt I felt bad because everyone was really cracking up and it was getting all this praise. And just something didn't Oh click. yeah, I got got a lot of a lot of praise. Mm. Just something didn't click. I couldn't even put my finger on it. I was like, just felt. It was like being so gratuitous to the point where. It oh was yeah, absurd. yeah. It's, and I got, it's... I got the joke, but the film's like three hours long, and I was like. Yeah, that's true uh, too. I was like, that's three hours of the same joke, running for. That, and I was like, it just didn't let up. So I don't know if that was it, but. Yeah, You're saying no, the great I... Martin Scorsese did not make a film. You know, well, it happens. <laughs> Um, yeah, oh, what, you, he, just, he just collapsed. Did he just quit? I don't know. His body, if you watch the stream, you'll see like he just jumps out the window and he just flops dead. Then, yeah, he, he quit. Yeah. You know, I was watching a, an interview with Francis Ford Coppola. Hmm. Um, you know, he hasn't directed a movie in like nine years, and the one he directed, nobody's seen. Which one? Twixt. Oh, yeah, no, I. Oh, I saw your he, body. I just saw your body. No, you got my Wait, body. Let me see if I can. He, uh. Can I find? No. It's in the bathroom, I guess. Yeah, yeah he, he made a really interesting case mm. for why. Um. He thinks movies are in a really bad position. What, Francis Ford Coppola? Yeah. Mm. Like, he, he's. He, he thinks. They're trying to change, but nobody's letting them. Like, and when I say change, I mean completely change. Like, he's experimenting. His last couple of movies have been, like playing around with story structure, characters, and like point of view and how do you tell a story. And he's he's said like it's changed for every other medium, except for film. Like the novel, novels have changed drastically from when like Bram Stoker wrote Dracula to what we have today. I, you know, I'm sorry. What I'm seeing on my screen right now. <laughs> it's just, yeah, he's twitching his legs. No, no, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, he stopped. <laughs> Alright, this girl's dead. Jason's ripping her out of the uh, tent. Yep, I'm looking in the tent. Something's happened. Um... Sorry, yeah, you were talking about the uh, films changing, not being able to evolve. Well, it's not, yeah, it's kind of not allowed to evolve. 
like you have people telling other people like how a movie should be mm. you know what i mean like he brought up a lot of interesting stuff like stanley kubrick's movie 2001 a space op you've seen that right yeah yeah yeah, yeah we've talked about this before in the past yeah love that movie fucking totally bonkers movie would be ripped to shreds mm-hmm. if it came out today because it's not it's not a movie you can look at and be like oh character development oh uh, story structure oh yeah, you know what yeah. i mean mm-hmm. same thing with something like apocalypse now yeah no i haven't seen that in years and this is the thing like nowadays movies come in almost identical packages to one another like you have to have x y and z and if you don't that equals bad yeah and it's uh he talked about that he was he was like you know different forms of media have changed and how they tell their stories for a long time it it just when he said that and when he went over like because it's fucking Francis Ford Coppola we're talking about here. Like, he knows what he's talking about. Mm. So, like, it was just one of those things where it really got my mind thinking, like, wow, he, maybe movies, maybe they're not allowed to change for whatever reason. I feel like the, when he said that, it made me think that movies are, have been, like, stagnant for years. Because, well, they, if, they because follow... every movie that tries to change, every movie that tries to do something different with a twist or with some sort of different... Uh, position on its narrative it's like immediately uh, dog shit gets thrown at it you know what I mean well yeah f- yeah uh, I mean there's a lot of people that they become cult things that's what happens it's like David Lynch stuff like gets yeah yeah turned yeah. into cult movies and all that so sort of. that's that's what happens to them but I look at movies like oh. like <laughs> uh, I look at movies like um songs you know, you have to have the opening, uh, the chorus, the the mid section, the chorus, the breakdown, the climax of the song, right? Right. That's there's usually a strong song structure. It starts off like the opening chorus, uh, the opening sort of lines. Yeah, I just explained it. But like movies, they do the similar thing. You have the opening act, you introduce your characters and all that sort of stuff, and then you have the problem comes in then you have the problem shows itself in a big way and yeah then, and then it goes to uh what to do about the problem and then you have the problem attacks again uh and then the hero of the story has to um uh come to terms with it and that's usually a lull lull period in in the uh story and then you've got the climax Every movie pretty much follows this, this like uh, uh, so, yeah, this sort story. of they, they follow it pretty much. Yeah, so like good. Oh, I'm the leather head, leather guy now. This can't be real. Um, yeah, but do, do mean, you know what I mean? Like every movie follows that structure. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Like the breakdown, the lull period. Let's take Fallen Kingdom for one example. Is when they're in the jail, and they're talking about blah blah blah, and then it goes into the climax, which is the big epic. Right, Showdown. well, Fallen Kingdom's story structure would be impeccable. Like, the writing for that movie and how it gets from point A to point B is, like, that's textbook how you're supposed to do it on every graph. Yeah, exactly. I um, mean, that movie doesn't challenge story structure at all. Like, no. uh, in fact, that's one of the cleanest ones in the whole Jurassic Park series. Yeah. Because Lost, cause Lost World, like, they go crazy in the third act and Jurassic Park 3 doesn't have a third act <laughs> like yeah yeah you know what I mean even Jurassic <laughs> World was uh well no Jurassic Jurassic World was pretty clean Jurassic Park's really clean Park and Fallen Kingdom in terms of the story structure itself is yeah pretty similar well this is, this is what I'm saying like this is probably what Francis Ford Coppola was getting at like he was probably thinking of movies like how I just explained it in terms of they all yeah and that's how same. most movies are made Mm-hmm. And you couple that with like they have to have the character goes through this, goes through this. I think they teach you in film school that if your character doesn't have four points of uh, four points in the movie, you can identify as self reflection or bouncing off of another character for them to like develop. Mm-hmm. Like then you're frowned upon. It's really weird. They film schools in the modern day are strange. They're almost yeah. like cults. <laughs> they're like cults it's weird man have you ever like listened 
<laughs> you ever listen to like, did you go to film school or no <laughs> well I, I only did media studies at college okay which i failed at miserably but uh <laughs> yeah i um no i never went to film school or anything like that it's, it's, i did go i did go to a film club but it was literally i kid you not full of people over 65 i was the only young person there damn it was always well, like see, old man, old man, old woman film club, and they'd show their old little home movies. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here That's making a... one called The Chase, where me and my friends are running with pistols, and there's like gunshots, and I'm using the Phantom Menace, uh, Jewel of the Fates <laughs> music over it. It's all in black and white, like <laughs> really experimental compared to what they're doing, but really cheesy and cringy well, see, if you were to watch it today. Experimental. That's the thing. You're not really. That's like frowned upon. I sent that off to a film competition and they sent it back and had to, with an apology letter saying they couldn't put it in because I'd used copyrighted music. And I remember feeling really gutted, like, oh, I've made this really good movie and they don't want it. And I was like I really ask. young. Like, oh right. God, Jason's here. Fuck's sake, yeah. why does that always happen? I'm right oh, here. Dear. Oh Jesus, he's coming. We can take him. Are we going in here? Are we gonna run around boats? Uh, I'm just gonna I'm run around. Off you. I'm trying to build up my stamina. I'm gonna. Hit, I've got a machete. Got a flare gun right here, bro. Okay, flare him and then we'll run. Well, hold on. He's he's morphing. He's morphing. Where'd that cock sucking goblin motherfucker? I've got a map, so maybe someone will see him. Maybe he morphed somewhere else near the car. It's morphing time. All right, now there's a gas. I don't think he's here. No, he left. He left us. He left, he left us. us. Oh, shall I get I'm the baseball bat? Yeah, get the bat. And, should we try uh, and get the boat? Should we try and get a boat working? Nah, it's it's better to just put it where there's no boat, actually. So we can't do that. <laughs> it's just two cars. No, so, there's no uh, boat? Nah, there's no boat. Oh, yeah, it's just two cars. Okay. Or there, there is a boat, but we can't do anything. It's like on the ground. Where's the boat? Where's the <laughs> the boat? <laughs> Where's the Costa Rican man in the boat? The, the, the spy oh, the sword. car's right here. Yeah, the car's right oh, here. Oh shit! Man. Where do we get the battery then? Four seater. Uh, I'm gonna go. Fuck! You. I don't know, but I'm alerting him. Yeah, I know you are. My, my gasoline slips. Did All right, I'm gonna it? go back in there. Yeah, no gas is in the car. I'm gonna go get my flare gun. Okay. Get rid of the flare. I love the like. In Jurassic Park, Alan Grant uses a flare as distraction, and then in Jurassic Park 3, he uses a flare for attack. Like, I do like that sort of uh, character <laughs> development in terms of Grant using a flare. Here's a weird question. I'll ask everyone in the chat, too. What's your favorite explosion in the Jurassic Park series? Mm. Oh, that's a good question. Ooh, you got something to pick from. You got, you got like, three different explosions in the law. You got do, one do, explosion in Jurassic wait, Park 3. You got, you've got, um, wait, are you thinking of the fire on the, um, on that's the a fucking explosion. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know yeah. if I'd call that an explosion. I'd call that flammable. In but... Jurassic Park 3? I'll, I'll count it, but I don't know. I, I don't know. It's a bit of a, that's teetering okay, on the edge because got... that's just like, like a flammable substance and lighting uh, up. An explosion is like catch, an actual... It catches the Spinosaurus's legs on fire. <laughs> When he's like running away, if you pay attention to his hips, for some yeah, reason yeah, it's yeah. Like, like chimpanzee noises. By the way, during this. <laughs> yeah, I know. I always notice this guy. Got... <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> that's just a retooled sound of. Um, <laughs> that's just a retooled sound of um, Nash's scream. When oh, I'm the plane, dude. Nash's scream is so weird. He's like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what's going on, Nash? <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyways. No, a favorite lost, explosion. I, I the lost it. world, like the fucking the. the Do the you explosion. count Mount Saibo? No, I wasn't gonna count that, but we can. So, so you fun. count the one in Jurassic Park Three, but you won't count a giant exploding rock. No, there's definitely <laughs> explosions. It's a man-made explosion. It's not a man-made explosion. <laughs> no, dude, like in. Check what about out the explosion when the lava bomb hits the pier and it like nearly kills Franklin? That's an explosion. Now, yes, that's an explosion. Mm. Yeah, that's an explosion. Now look, in the Lost World, when when Dieter's straight up looking at that fucking Jeep or whatever it is, that, that Hummer that blows up mm. and like launches eighty feet in the air and like That's so awesome. 
okay, that's an explosion. And then the trailer falling over the cliff and blowing up. That's a second explosion. And then the Mercedes Benz. Oh, oh Jason. How'd they cut the power, man? They're in. Wait, are we, where is he? No, he's probably not near us. He just cut the power from like. Yeah, but he knows we're in here because he'll be looking and it's red. Like this whole house will be going red. We better get the fuck out of there, then. Yeah. Um, okay, so. And of course, the Mercedes Benz explosion because the fucking. Like the tire pops up for effect and everything. <laughs> okay. What, what's your. Oh. oh my god! I'll save you! Yeah, no, I had a, I had a pen knife. Pocket knife. Let's go. The pen is mightier than the sword. <laughs> <laughs> We're like twins. Yeah. You're Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale. <laughs> Chip, 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 Chip and Dale. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I'm not going to yeah, make just it. just catch up ref. He... Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Oh, lordy. I'm, I'm running. Way. Go, 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 go. Get away oh, from god. me. Oh, God. Oh, God. I got my camera the wrong way around. I'm stuck on a rock. I'm stuck on a rock. Oh, shit, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get. Oh no, no. Oh, yeah, man. I'm getting. I'm, I'm at, getting. I'm out of stamp. Mm. Oh man, that is. Well, I ain't gonna be in the sequel. That goddamn motherfucking son of a bitch just killed my friend. <laughs> Good twin. So, what's your favorite explosion then? Mmm, dude, it's tough. It's probably the trailer going over the cliff. Oh really? That's a big fucking explosion. Uh, the one in Jurassic World's good though too, with the uh, helicopter falling. That's, that's my one. Yeah, that, that's probably the most iconic. Even though people are probably like, that is probably <laughs> the most iconic, isn't it? Explosions in Jurassic Park. This is. Hey man, you say that when I was really little. This is before the Lost World came out. I remember having the. It was one of my earliest like negative opinions of the franchise, I used to think there should be no explosions in the next Jurassic Park movie. What's wrong with you? Because because I was a snob. I was a little, like, five-year-old snob. I thought Jurassic Park was too good for explosions. And that was only because I noticed, I thought... <laughs> I thought uh, I was really clever because I noticed that Jurassic Park didn't have any explosions in it. British Tyrannosaur said, uh, Alan exploded at Billy, if you remember. <laughs> Well, nah, dude, definitely, though, like, the most iconic has yeah, to be... Yeah, it's the helicopter. It's the helicopter. But, mm -hmm. um... But if we were counting Mount Saibo, I'd probably well, count well, Mount Okay, Saibo. do you want to... Do you really want to count the volcano, though, or do you want to explosion by, like, the drum barrels? Where, like, the Franklin's like... I want to count gonna... the volcano, because it, it, a volcano is literally an explosion. Yeah, but, but <laughs> it, I think it's different. Like, that's a, that's a, a real explosion, though. Like, I know what you're there's... saying. That like, yeah. okay, you're going for like things that just pop. Because like you wouldn't the, see a the... volcano blowing up in a diehard. He's coming for you, by the way. He's uh, right who next knows? to you. you. He's that ca... son of a bitch. Come here, bitch. <laughs> He's coming in. Bye. <laughs> He's gonna get me. <laughs> no. Oh god, you're slowly making your way out, no. He's got Nah, you got Oh god. Oh, oh my god, whoa, this whoa, is... what's going on? This what's is great. On? This is great. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, oh, he... yeah, okay. Oh, dude. Son of Run. Bitch. Yeah. Run. <laughs> on my camera, you were just like floating in the air next to him. Oh, you took his ah. mask off. You <laughs> took his mask off. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> 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 ah, ah, I got away. You need to get out of there, man. He's gonna know you're in here. He's oh all, shit, he's, he's son! Talking. I was oh, looking at my. You did it. You, it. Oh, you could have run out of the door. You should jump out the window. I'm looking for a window to jump out. Oh, go out the door. Just run. Ah! <laughs> he can, he's just gonna run around the door. While you're getting up. Oh no, he's lost you. He thinks you're still in there. Don't, yeah, oh, just he does? Run, yeah, run into the woods and just crouch. Don't run. No, he knows where you are. He's seen you. Oh, he does. I'm looking behind you. He got me. It's been an honor fighting with you, boys. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much more fun to watch, like, when you know and you're talking to the person who's running. Well, 
I'll be a son of a bitch. I'm gonna hide. They'll probably get me. Oh god. Because I get to control your vision in this bit, so... Oh no, you're coming out. Does he see me? Yeah, he's in the room. He's right behind you. He's got you. You. Do you have he won't other... give me a second chance this time. No. <laughs> that was great, though. Oh, God. Oh, Clay. Look at this ugly per Thanos is killing me. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, damn it. Was I the last guy? I think so. Yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah. It was probably entertaining for somebody else. Red Hood 23 says Clayton's character looks like Hayden Christensen. <laughs> <laughs> Anakin was killed by Thanos. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I think, Clayton... like, just to go back to the explosions, because I, I was kind of thinking about this. Why, why I think I originally thought that Jurassic Park didn't, like, well, it was too good for explosions, right? And this was my legit reason That's for so it. pretentious i know but this this is my reasoning yeah because i remember my reasoning when i was okay. a kid right right i used to love explosions and car chases and all that sort of stuff in but movies. you thought jurassic park was too mature no 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 no. like watching jurassic park right when the car falls down into the tree it mm. didn't explode it was all crumpled up and to me that felt more realistic because I always knew when I was a kid like of course cars don't just explode that's not how they work but like the so it felt more real the fact that the car hit the tree and just like crumpled up and yeah I get what you're saying sort of so I was like oh this is kind of like that's how they're grounding it in reality but as I grew older I saw the lost world and the lost world again <laughs> yeah, lost world's I, like, went, oh, God, I went this is awesome this is awesome and i was like i get it i was like okay it does deserve it explosions because it's just it's just awesome it's fucking, it's like, yeah. you know they burned down the set like during that scene where that hummer blew up like really? the set caught realize. on fire and like it, it caught on fire too much like that they <laughs> it destroyed like the fucking set <laughs> That's so funny. it's uh it's crazy man like um i'm trying to think of it the, there's there's what two explosions in fallen kingdom not counting the volcano there's the one in the lab where Blue runs away, mm -hmm. and then there's the one on the dock where the, uh, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's no other explosions than that, is there? Oh, you're Jason again. Mm -hmm. Am I? Is there another explosion? I was just trying to think if there is. I mean, you, you count the fucking volcano. Yeah, I mean, you, that, that, that's if you count the volcano, that might be my number one, just just because Jason. of the sheer scale. Right, what, yeah, what fair, fair enough. Yeah. What Jason am I? Um oh you're part six, Jason. You're the Jason um with the spear thing. Yeah, um I've got a weapon. Was there was there more than one explosion in Jurassic World? There was the Indominus getting hit by the rocket launcher and Charlie oh, being blown, yeah. completely uh, blown. Yeah, but, and yeah, as a novel but, fan, I thought you would like that because that is from the book and it's even it the is. exact it's even the exact same rocket launcher i've come to learn the exact uh, same make that's rocket cool launcher. but that's not like i don't know I, I i just love the trailer blowing up when it hits the uh... i mean if i if someone had to tell me what's the best like most cinematic explosion actually i take it back it might not be the one from jurassic world i mean that <laughs> Hello, Jack. <laughs> I thought that was you in there. I mean, personally... I don't know, the volcano is really... That is a good one, if we're counting that. I mean, you gotta think of all, all of the... Uh, like, scenes that's that definitely... It. Like, the shot of it exploding behind the T-Rex. <gasps> That yeah, shot. and that's that's super. And it's standing right on a Carnotaurus. I mean, look at that imagery. Oh, you bastard! I was gonna do try and dodge that. <laughs> I was gonna come over and look at the fire with you. <laughs> yeah, sure you were. Um, is there an expl? There's not an explosion in Jurassic. In where? In in the original Jurassic Park. 
It's it's too good to have explosions. Um, it's too good to have explosions. Um, <laughs> I guess if you if you could, would you count the raptor flying through the uh, the skeleton, <laughs> the skeleton no. exploding everywhere? No, that doesn't count. No, there's there's no explosions in the first movie. Fucking lost world though. Yes, there is. There is one. Oh no, it's not an explosion. I, I found your shed. The shotgun into the ground. <laughs> That's the closest we get to an explosion. The, sh the shotgun into the ground? Yeah, you know, during Grant's dig site, they use that machine to shoot the ground so they get a sonar <laughs> reading yeah, back. Good. That's, good. The, <laughs> the closest we get to an explosion. The, uh, uh, the ground penetrating radar. <laughs> I remember when I was really, really little, that machine confused the hell out of me i had no idea what that was for You're like, why are they shooting yeah at the I was ground? Like, but i was like what even is that i was like i could see the shotgun shells pop out of it because my my granddad had a double barrel shotgun when i was a kid and he um <sighs> michael said that uh tim getting electrocuted <laughs> kind of an explosion yeah yeah kind of no! he gets fucking shocked that is one of the most weird electrical shocks I think I've ever seen. Because he fucking flies. Oh, what? She had another bloody flare gun. Oh my god. Tough little SOB in this house. Little naked chick running around. What's your favorite explosion in the 1998 Godzilla? Oh, I know exactly nope. what my favorite explosion is in that film. Is it the the damn Chrysler building? <laughs> no, actually. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's Godzilla's foot standing on a tank. I don't, I don't like, remember that. It sta he stands on a tank and then... Um, uh, it explodes, and when he lifts his foot up, it like lifts another tank up there. Like it's, it shows his raw power when he just stands on a tank and it blows up. Huh. It's, it's one that. I loved as a kid. I, I've always loved it. It always. Comes what about where he kind of like blows his breath on those cars and they convoluted? Convoluted. Yeah, like uh, that's their answer to him having atomic breath because he's a realistic Godzilla. It's like, I, I mean, it's like that, I that, never. That was the. End. I didn't care. I thought it was fine. Like I, I, I get what you're saying. It is like overthinking yeah. it. It was. Like, it was like I knew. I was just like, this is just overthinking. Well, it. they knew people would fucking complain. He doesn't breathe fire. People fucking bitch about anything. That's what I've come to learn. Yeah, I do like that film. It's uh, well, it's not the best. No, it's not it's the best, but I do like it. It's like um, it's, it's fun. It's good, it's good nostalgic. dumb fun. Oh, totally! Oh, yeah, I am doing. Too. I am doing so terribly here. I haven't yeah, killed, even killed anyone. anyone yet. It's because this bloody morphing on the map doesn't appear. Um, I want to jump across the map, but I can't. That would be such a funny poll to put up on Twitter. What's your favorite explosion in the Jurassic Park series? Yeah, you'd have to whittle it down to four options, though. I get. I bet you'd get people thinking like. What? No, I don't know. Accept that fact. <laughs> Damn, Jack. We're like all hurting together. I know. And I can't shift there quick enough. That's the problem. I can see where you are. Out. Fucking I... Cobra Kai and... Wait. Oh, no. Yes, I can. Jesus Christ. I'm an idiot. Hey, here's, here's a question. Here's a question. Here's a question. What's your favorite kill in the Indiana Jones series? My favorite kill in the Indiana Jones series? Yeah. Um. I want to say the guy who drinks from the Holy Grail. Or would you class that as a death over just a kill? No, that, I mean... That would work. That's a good one. I'll give you that. You've chosen I think most poorly. He chose poorly. <laughs> I think most people would pick the uh, the heart. 
from Temple of Doom. Oh, really? I thought they'd pick the Nazis from Raiders Melt. Oh, good point. Because that's, that's the, like there's a head explosion. There's a guy, two guys melting. That, and... that almost got them an R rating. They had to put like that flame in front of Belloc's head. Mm. Otherwise, they're like, you can't fucking show this to children. What the hell's wrong with you? I thought that the head explosion was the least violent of those, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah just... God. Uh, that used to terrify <laughs> me as a kid, that scene. I always thought that was so fucking... Like... <laughs> I'm the... I love the Indiana Jones movies, though. I've even come to appreciate Crystal Skull. Really? Yes, really. Mm, I say that wholeheartedly. I rewatched it, and I was like, you know what? It's not really that bad but I know why I thought it was because I'm so confused about where people are on this they're like the two cars oh wait I see I see where Jack, I am if you press two it should like have people turn red yeah no I'm I'm, I'm... oh I see I see you all I see you yeah. Gonna have me some fun. Gonna, gonna have, have me some fun. Some... <laughs> gonna have me some fun. This stuff will make you a damn sexual tyrannosaurus. This, just this like Jason me. sucks. His pole keeps getting stuck in the wood. <laughs> you put it on random, didn't you? Gave you the zombie Jasons are always slower. Just an FYI. Yeah, I know. I've noticed. Yeah. God. What's your uh, clicking? Here's a good, clicking here's a good question. What's your favorite dinosaur design in each movie? Mm. Obviously, like the first pet? one, the T Rex. Of course. Second one, Raptor. For me, it's Raptor. <laughs> Those male that. raptors in the Lost World are great. <laughs> I want to say the bull T-Rex, but that's two T-Rexes straight away. <laughs> I mean, T-Rexes are always cool, though. So. Okay, I've lost. The third one for me, I'll go Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus is a great design. Straight up. Yeah. Um, sorry. Just trying to fourth. work out where the hell everyone is. I guess for fourth. I'd go, uh, I want to say the Indominus, well, don't include the hybrids, because <laughs> they're, they're all, not, they're all theropods though, I'm just trying to think like through all of the designs. Fallen Kingdom for me, I'd say Carnotaurus, and Jurassic World would probably say Mosasaurus. Mmm, yeah, Mosasaurus is a good count. Yeah. So wait, this what's is... yours for JP3 then? Um, I, I, I'm giving up here. I can't find anyone. <laughs> They're looking for like the fucking. Don't tell me. Oh, I know what my problem was. I wasn't pressing one. I was pressing M. Oh, well, that'll fuck you up. <laughs> yeah, because. You were looking at the map, but not like morphing. Yeah. I was looking at the map and I was like, why is my morph option not coming up? But now I know. Now and I know. Knowing is half the battle. How do you go? How do you disable traps? Uh, how do you disable traps? Uh, do you walk around them? Yes. Yeah, just walk around them. <laughs> oh, what? I think for my least favorite designs. She, um, she's trapped between me and the trap. First movie, Parasaurolophus design. I'm a fan of. Second movie. All right, I took raptors. someone out. There you go. There you Good go. Job, Jack. Make them suffer. Female raptor design in the second movie. I don't really like. Uh, Brachiosaurus. Actually, you know what? Female raptors in Jurassic Park. Yeah, I don't really like. I like the male raptors. I don't like the female ones. They look like naked parrots. <laughs> naked parrots. With fucking Dalmatian spots. 
I like the female design. I like. I, I have a thing for like white raptors. I don't know. I like. I like that. Well, idea. white would be cool, but they're like. I don't know. Um. Least favorite dinosaur design in Jurassic. World. Uh, I guess by default the Apatosaurus. Even though I don't think it's bad, I just have to pick a new one. Least favorite design in Fallen Kingdoms, definitely the Allosaurus for me. Come on, I must be in this now. You want the move. Where the fuck? Where am I? I'm not. I need to go hang out with the people. Where's the people? They're being killed by Jason. That's what's happening. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think this match they're getting killed. <laughs> what are you talking about? You, you got one guy. I got I got one of my one of my sights right now. One of my sights. <laughs> I got one of my sights right now. I got two of my sights. Oh come on. Get up to him and ask him, what's your favorite explosion? In Jurassic Park! I mean, the Lost World Pteranodon design is oh, that pretty is good. damn good. That's a really good one. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, I can for see God's everyone. Sake. Everyone's all in one place. <laughs> Not good. Damn, Daniel. Oh, I'm coming for you. Here's Jason. Oh god. Oh for god's sake. Do you know what? I need to destroy these windows so they don't. Tim, Jack, you suck. <laughs> You're really bad at this. I'm playing I'm playing bad as this Jason. His stick is awful. <laughs> it's a it's a It keeps getting what? stuck. It's really irritating. His stick. His... <laughs> It's a fucking spear. It's a predator combi stick or whatever they're called. <laughs> Question is. That was a movie that really disappointed. I felt that that's one of the first movies I genuinely felt bad for like the director. I know it sounds weird, but like, I, like Shane Black, I really felt bad for after that movie. I was like, because you could tell that movie had been chopped up and rearranged. Oh man, it's harder than it looks. <laughs> Is your mask off? I, I can't. I can't hit them. Every time I go into that bloody view. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Sneaking up on me. I. Oh, what? <laughs> Come on. I'll stop him. Silent now. Yeah. Oh, Lordy. Jason's here. Oh, Jason's coming for you. Oh, for fuck's sake, there's a trap right at this door. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Why do I feel like that had a, a a name attached to it, beginning with a K? Uh, might have been not me. I don't know. This is like playing it, and no one ever wants wants to be it. <laughs> oh, what? I, I, I can hear you click clacking all the way. Oh my god! 
I've got like a skull face. <sighs> I just, the reason I felt so bad for that predator. Oh, wait, are we talking about predator? The predator. Ew. Well, I felt, I genuinely feel bad for him. Like, mm. that, that if movie's it... not, that's not the movie he set out to make, you can tell. Uh, I fucking... hope that's not the movie he wanted to make. <laughs> they re they reshot like the second and third act. Dude, the pr the fucking the dogs, man. Oh, the the dogs suck. It made me really appreciate the uh, predators more. No, yeah, I went back and watched that too. I really liked that movie. My opinion changed on that. I actually, that's in my opinion. That's the strongest Predator sequel. Someone's called the police. This is not good for I me. Like, I like Predator 2. Like, I think the... I just think the first 30 minutes of Predator, Predator 2... Predator 2 is my favorite Predator film. Yeah, I know, I know it is. But, like, the first 30 minutes for me are just cheese, cheese balls. Why? Every single time I pick them up, they have some sort of fucking... They have a pocket knife. <laughs> pocket knife up their sleeves. <laughs> Can they just like not, please? Oh, I hope I'm Jason next. <laughs> All right, where are you? I'm with these girls in the cabin, twins. Hey, girl. I'm running around in bloody circles. Where are you? Come here. I'm running around in circles because all the doors are open. Ah! Uh. <laughs> oh, okay, they're still in the house. So I just went past them. Are they hiding in the cupboard? Or is there an upstairs here? Oh, there is an upstairs. Hello. Jason. Oh, she dived out of the top window? <laughs> Did she just kill herself then? She would, she'll be really damaged from that, right? Yeah. Okay. So hopefully if I just waltz there. Be easy pickings. Oh, did she land on the, um, the roof? Damn, Jack. What? You got oh. one. <laughs> I killed one right, out of seven. I that Jason probably... sucks. I am never playing as that Jason again. I could probably play one more game, and then okay. I gotta head out. But like I said, Mummy still praises me for my hard work. I'm sure. I'm gonna roast you in hell. <laughs> Jason Michael doesn't have a favorite explosion in Jurassic Park because Friday the 13th was before the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> what about Jason X, though? He would have surely have seen. Yeah, he, he's seen all of them. He, know, he has better <laughs> makeup. So. Do you know what I watched for the first time the other night? What's that? In the Line of Fire. Clint Eastwood movie. Oh, it was actually I... pretty good. I've never seen I... it. I don't know if I've seen that. Oh, you should check it out. It's pretty good. I'll check it out. It's on, like it's on the British of... Netflix. But it's got John Malkovich in it. And, um, oh, and, wow. and a okay. few other people. It's really good. It's just about this guy who like, is being taunted by this guy who keeps like telling him he's gonna shoot the president and he guards the president and he's like and he oh. failed to save jfk during the, the assassination so he's got like this wow feeling of like regret for not doing anything saving well, the how... president and this person's like i'm gonna shoot the president and you you won't save him and all this sort of stuff and it's like this cat and mouse game and john malkovich did... is so good in the film like he's really when did it good. come out 1993 1983? Uh, 93. Same year as Jurassic. Oh, that's why. 
Okay. So yeah, the, nobody um, cared about it. The but the there's some effects in the film which are a bit naff. They, dated like like it's more like they show the president at rallies and they've obviously green screened this guy like talking <laughs> it's like it doesn't it's like the um forest gump green screen problem yeah i mean sometimes you got to give the movies the benefit of the doubt if they're really like mm. and it's wolfgang peterson i think directed it oh the amadeus director let me just see yes um, yeah it amadeus, was. amadeus. Yeah, um, Amadeus. But yeah, you should you should check it out. It's really good. I I wasn't I'll check expecting it, out. it. It's I'll say this without this is without giving too much spoiler for anything. Um, uh, it's it was closer to Die Hard than I was expecting. Was it closer <laughs> to Die Hard or The Fugitive? Probably The Fugitive. But okay. but like in it, there was moments in this where I genuinely felt like uh, I was watching like a Die it. Hard spin-off but yeah it's good really good film i do that a lot when i'm on my own jack can you still hear me yeah yeah can you hear me uh oh this can't be real whoa holy shit can you hear me jack i don't i don't think you can hear me jack i can i can hear you i can i cannot hear you i can't hear you jack I can Jack I can, are you talking? I can hear you. Can you hear me on the stream? Jack, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can't hear you, Jack. What is going on? Oh. Oh, for some reason my Discord was muted. What the hell? I don't know. My Discord was just muted. I haven't even been on Discord. I've been playing Friday the 13th. Fucking Nedry's hacking your shit. It must be a but like a hotkey on my keyboard or something. Maybe, yeah. Uh... Um, I was saying, listen to the stream. I can hear you. <laughs> I was oh. like, I'm on the stream, Clayton. I can hear you. But, um... <laughs> I, could, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> okay. I saw Jason straight away. He was running towards Dude, me. Dude, Jason. Yeah, he's running towards me. He's all on dick what? right now. Leave me alone, Jason. My fucking cam counselor is scared shitless. I'm just slowly walking away. I'm determined to survive this match. So I'm going to be one of those people that uh, hides in the bushes. And doesn't come out. How do you crouch again? Uh, <laughs> I just jumped out a window. It's control. 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 Yeah, control. Is that. Okay, that's control. What I, that's what I need to do. British Tyrannosaur says, The Fugitive Free, I can't hear you, Jack. <laughs> Michael Thumb says, I... He'll never let go. Jack, he'll never let go. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you shouldn't be living here. <laughs> you know there was a, a sequel to The Fugitive? No. It's called <laughs> it's US like, Marshals. There's a, there's a Fugitive franchise, think of that. I wouldn't call it a franchise. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a sequel. I'm sure it's, there's some Kenner action it's figures. No, no Harrison Ford. Right. But Wesley Snipes. Okay. Every time I think of him, I either think of Blade or Demolition Man. <laughs> yeah, I'm a blast from the past. <laughs> <laughs> Demolition Man's great. It is. It's quite good. topical as well. I think that movie's that's that's very early '90s. Like, wasn't it like ninety six or something? No, dude, it was like ninety three. Oh yeah, because it was set in the future, wasn't it, or something? I'll tell you what. Other here's a movie I love, and I know it. It's not exactly gonna win any Oscars. What's that? Uh, dude, Escape from L.A. <laughs> have yeah. you seen Escape from L.A.? <laughs> I have. What seen... a masterpiece! <laughs> oh, God. Escape from New York, though. Oh, that's great. Exactly. It's, that's, it's that's great. Ticket. But I fucking love Escape from LA. He surfs a tsunami. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that. I saw it on Sky years ago. But I haven't. Uh... Dude, he makes a three point basketball <laughs> shot. <laughs> like from fucking, he's not even on the court. <laughs> he's like way out of nowhere. It's great. That movie. 
And fucking Ben Parker from Spider Man. Uncle Ben is the fucking president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> and he's bad. He's evil. It's, it's great. I need to watch that again. Maybe I need to put that in the black sack. Oh, dude, if it's in there. I, it's, it's not. Too... It's not. But I can put it in there. I can find it easily enough. It's, it is, like, legit. I like that movie. Like, for its outlandish craziness. <laughs> oh, there you go. Michael Thiam says, Demolition Man, filmed in 1993, frozen in 1996. That's why <laughs> yeah. I got, where I got that date from. <laughs> Set in 2032. Good old Demolition Man. I'm just hiding in the bushes for this one. The music's getting crazy because it's trying to freak me out. That's, he's fucking... he's trying to find me. I wish he could, like, flip cameras during this week, just to see where other players are. Thing if is, I, uh, I've, I've got keys and I've got fucking uh, the power cell for... oh shit! So one of the cars has a battery in it. I'm like right by that. I'm at the house that. Damn. I could put the thing in the phone box. Want to call the police? Yeah, but he's gonna kill oh, me. Oh, call the police! I'm by. I'm hiding right by one. Of oh the shit! I don't know what happened. Poor broken motherfucker's gonna kill me. <laughs> he got me. Oh, he's gonna rip my jaw out. You know what you'd have to do now? Scream like Nash. <laughs> <laughs> His fucking screams, it's so get out of the way. You know I can't stop this plane. Oh god, please. It the way that animatronic moves with him in his mouth it's, it's, it's so good, bad. It? It's, <laughs> it's not good. Hurt. And you look at the expression of the people in the plane, they're like, Whoa. So here you get okay, Clayton. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hear me out, right? Oh, I'm Tommy Jarvis. What, am, oh, what nice. are we talking about? So, hear me out, yeah? Yeah. The Spinosaurus is shown to shove its face right back in the plane. Well, okay. shove its face into the plane to eat people, right? Right. Why did it, after killing Nash, did it stop to just do a cool roar at the plane? Why didn't it follow what was previously established seconds before and just do what it's meant to do? Come on, Clayton, mm -hmm. answer me that. Please. Stop. Jurassic Park 3 is perfect. I don't know <laughs> what you're getting at. But it's a flawless film. But what but why what that's an inconsistency. Because in it's cool. That's that, why. What what yeah. Cool's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> How dare this film be cool? <laughs> oh fuck me. I just cool. set this. I'm not trap. gonna hold, I'm not gonna hide in the bush yet. Like it's boring, but Oh, someone needs to call the police. Do I need to call the police? Is this where you call... Which house do you call the police at? I don't even know where you are. I'm running around with... I'm girl. hiding behind one of the exits. I'm just hoping... I'm cowering in the bushes. I'm laying Shot wildy in fear. Face. I'm laying a wildy in fear. I'm wiping my ass with a leaf. And now I'm heading towards the house. <laughs> in search for a phone because I'm right by one of the exits and if I can call the police and they come to this exit I'll be heading heading home what is this what can I pick up oh that's that's medicines for if I get hurt that's good that fucking Spinosaurus and JP3 is so bad like it the wasn't, animatronic what's more annoying about it is the fact that it it was the most advanced animatronic they ever made it's it's how they filmed it though man like it, it, it makes you look... wonder, like, what Spielberg would have been able to do with it had he was directing the film. Well, he would probably done. Could you imagine some of the shots he would have done with that? Sorry. Yeah, that would have been great. No, this is not, and it's not like even a knock on Joe Johnston. It's because they didn't. That movie wasn't planned. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they, yeah, they were just filming like off the cuff. Oh, that looks good. Go. <laughs> like, yeah, but I also, I also think that like the. the that movie probably came out the best it could have been. Mm. Like, really, it could have been could have been a lot worse, Jack. A lot worse. <laughs> Don't say that, because then we'll get the Spinosaurus killing the T-Rex in like five seconds flat, and eh. people complaining about the ending. And then 
By the way, I'm pretending to be one of the film execs. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we'll get, Clayton. If we uh, if we don't satisfy our investors, they want bigger, louder, more teeth, cooler. I think is the word they used in the memo. <laughs> I think the phone for the police is in this building because the radio tower is attached uh, to the side of it. You were a uh... damn. No, I'm a shitty there Tommy is, Jarvis. There is. Oh, it's the Tommy Jarvis radio. Oh shit! I back out. I know. I know where you are. I'm. I'm coming in your. You got like. You got any spray? Because yeah, I'm do. wounded. Oh god, he's here. Christ. He's here. That's impossible. <laughs> Unless the music's freaking me out. Fucking mash. Either he's here or the music's just. The music was freaking me out. Yeah, he's not there. For God's sake! All right, crouch. I've got a weapon, I've got spray. You know, i got to uh, be honest with you, I don't even like Nash's death in Part 3. It's kind of retarded. I like one moment of it. It's where the foot lands on his back and it, yeah, his other I don't even like other his foot. fucking noises. <laughs> he's, he's, he's like trying to crawl away. Dude, that shot though has some of the... Uh, it's so good in terms of special effects. Like that one shot, if you freeze frame that and go for it, like it looks so good. <laughs> I can't take the movie seriously. Like <laughs> I can see you, by the way. Yeah, I'm hiding in here, trying not to get killed. We're right by an exit. If someone calls the police. Nah, dude, there's only one girl left. Yeah, repair the... Th Should we go try and repair the phone, bo phone box? Where was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can give me uh, some spray, I can run back over there. Oh, well, how do I do that? One? No, that'll spray yourself. Z. Oh, I see. Okay. That, okay. Here it comes. No, ready, you... ready, ready? Yeah. Z. There you there go. I dropped go. it. Z. Z. Z's Z. dead. <laughs> Z's dead, baby. <laughs> Z's dead. Lord Zed. For the longest time, I didn't know that Zed was oh, speaking, a letter. <laughs> speaking of Zed. Yeah. Or Z. Um, R.I.P. Rip Torn, who was Agent Zed. Was it Agent Zed in Men in yeah. Black? Yeah, Men in Black. I think he's near us, right? Yeah, he died. He was also uh, Hercules' father in Hercules. He was Zeus. Oh, really? He in, was in also the Disney. Tom Green's dad in... Um, <laughs> Freddy got fingered. <laughs> that one I did not know. I think Jason's behind us. Yeah, he's coming. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm trapped. He's got me. Yep. Fuck me. Yeah, I'm dead. Fuck my winker. Dude, he's right. He's he just pickaxed me right in the back of the head, right behind you. Are you are you dead? I'm dead. Yeah. I'm... Ah! No. You got I trapped. Just... He, yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh shit! Oh, we out, boy! Oh my god. <laughs> Call the police! And then Where hide. Where are we going? Help me! Please, anyone! Where the fuck is the phone? Where's the Where's phone? The, fuck? the river! Oh, Sorry, he... boo! That <laughs> son of a bitch! He's coming in! You know what? You're not getting this kill. I'm, oh. I'm gonna commit suicide. No, don't don't do that. Don't. I'm the fight. last guy. Yeah, fight fight your way out. <laughs> call the police. Make a make I can't, a I can't call the police. You fuck. Oh, did he just destroy the phone box? Yeah, that fucking asshole. There's a machete. There's a baseball bat on the side there. Oh god. Is he coming? I I, I think so. The door is wide open. Yeah, there is no door. <laughs> oh shit. There he is. Yeah, he's got you. He got me. He got me, man. Threw me out of fucking oh, God. <gasps> I glitched out! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna kill myself. Wait. Has he got you? He's oh, glitched he out. Dude, now call the police. <laughs> <laughs> if it'll well, let he's me. glitched out. He's just walking around with his hand in the air. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you gonna fix the phone? I'm gonna try. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. This is this would be amazing if he's glitched, he can't do anything. I can't do anything either, though. Oh, you glitched as well. Yeah. 
<laughs> He's coming with his hand up. Maybe you need to just like insert yourself back into his hand and the game will continue need... on. I need to what? I think you need to walk near his hand. No. Both That's glitched. not working. He's dancing. It... <gasps> oh, I... oh, you did something there. I did something. Yeah, do that near the phone box. <laughs> oh. It's not working. It's, it's It'll only let me do, like, emote. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Just Jason and Tommy hanging out. <laughs> you look like Chris <laughs> Pratt, like, trying to stop the raptors. Uh -oh. <laughs> Putting your hand out. If fucking game glitch, damn it. I mean, I guess I, I guess I fucking win. He can't kill me. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can leave the timer to run out. What are you going to do? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Unless are you going to leave it just to see? Are you just going to leave it to just see if it says you were killed or if you survived? Because if it's glitched... Oh, it, it shows me I'm dead on the screen. but Like, it says I've been tossed through the window. But oh, like, I see, yeah. Tossed. But I'm still here. Nah, might as well is there, is there, uh, How much time is left? Four minutes, 30 seconds. Nah, dude, I'm winning this. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to drag him on for that long. You should just go sit at the campsite around the fire. <laughs> just chill out. I'm very surprised that it that this game still has all these bugs and shit in it. I know. Even with these bugs, though, I think I find the bugs kind of funny because you never know what's going to happen next. They're fun. It's just they keep saying that they've fixed everything and they clearly haven't. Yeah. This is still, though, in my opinion, this is the best movie to game adaptation I've ever seen. It's really great. You know, they, they did a really good job with this game. Mm. It feels like Friday the 13th. Who's talking? I think someone else in the chat's getting annoyed because everyone, everyone will be watching you. <laughs> I mean, what do they want me to do? Quit? I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Reported. Yeah. Report him for winning. <laughs> Exploiting the glitch. But the thing is like this like the game is so detailed. The graphics yeah. are amazing. They've got all the Jasons you could ever want aside from Jason X, I guess. The they need more maps, that's what they need. But I know they're not doing anything else to this game. I think this is it. No, nah, it's uh, yeah. But the thing is that's that's such a shame because like the gameplay in this is perfect. Like the gameplay is exactly what you'd want from like a, a Friday the Thirteenth game, and like the style, the comedy of this whole thing, Chad, the characters, like they, Tommy Jarvis, like they they just completely nailed what makes this game great. The only issue, the actual, the the biggest down draw to this is the fact that it's online only. Well, I guess there's oh they did actually, introduce but... a a first. Like a okay. player one yeah. thing. I I haven't mm. tried it. I haven't tried it either. But like maybe missions or something. Yeah, maybe maybe I'll do that on a live stream. <gasps> you're swimming. What the hell? How'd that happen? And now you're just. Now you I'm dead. Like you, you look like you're like cut in half. Oh, Jason got you. That's weird. How's that work? You literally just glitched into the water. Was I even anywhere near? I don't think so. Now I drowned. I didn't get tossed. <laughs> I have two lives. <laughs> well, we saw the end of that. Yeah. All right. Not bad. Not bad indeed. Okay. You said that was the last game, yeah? Yeah, I mean, we could play... I'm just kind of tired of Friday the 13th. We can play Overwatch if you want. Yeah. For a, let's a, do a little while. Do you mind if I just go make a new cup of tea? Yeah, that's cool.
All right, exit the game. All right, guys, I'm going to be back in like two seconds, so bear with me, and I'll leave you in the company of Clayton, who will yeah. still be talking. I'm just going to mute my mic. <laughs> okay. One second. What's up, guys? We got here. I'd like to see Jack and Clayton play it one day. Play what? CGI characters in the back of the Lawnmower Man DVD the other day. Yeah, I mean, Lawnmower Man was a long time ago. Uh, Primal Carnage. Primal Carnage. I have not played it, but I'm trying to remember what Primal Carnage was. Is that the game where you're like on factions as either dinosaurs or people? I think I've I've heard of that one. What's up, man? Uh, uh, the books are like throwbacks of the '80s. I need three bars. I need three bars, Eddie. There's like a hundred switches. <laughs> um, was Masrani a bad guy? I don't think he was. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, that's one. I remember really liking the Carnotaur design in that game. Much else about it. I think I saw Best in Slot and the Gaming Beaver play each other on it. Um, if it's available on Steam, I'll probably grab it eventually. Um, oh, I have been added on Twitter. Recorded with Clayton Fioriti a few nights ago for the next episode podcast i think you'll definitely enjoy this one yep that's that's a fact jack that's coming soon that's coming soon when is that coming i think he said monday so yeah i'll be on the jurassic park podcast on monday primal carnage i need to hold on let me google that real quick Primal Carnage. Primal Carnage images. Um. Oh, I hear noises. I hear noises. Oh, it's a sequel. I'm back. What so Primal Carnage Extinction? Is that like an expansion pack or something? Oh no, no, I know what Primal Rage is. Uh, I'm gonna load up Overwatch. Shall I put the um American servers, right? Uh give me a second. I'm I might have to update something. Um Oh yeah, there was the, yeah, there was the July update. I love Overwatch. I know. I've been playing Overwatch for like almost three years. It's crazy. There are people out there who genuinely don't like it. I'm looking at you, British Tyrannosaur. Um, <laughs> British Tyrannosaur uh, doesn't like Overwatch? No, he doesn't. And I tell him that's just because he, he hasn't played it and he should play it. See, now, yeah, I agree with you because I thought and then I played it and I was like, it's just so smooth and so quick and fun. That's exactly what I was saying the other night on stream. I was saying the number one thing I love about it is, like, when look, I was look a at kid, all these, look at all these girls you get to look at, like Tracer. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it's it's like um, I it's a game that when I was a kid I never thought I'd ever play a game as smooth and as good looking as this game. Like it style. is cool, like, like, but I I get where he's coming from if you if. Like, I get it. I'm always, I'm always how I feel. now jabbing British Tyrannosaur for his hatred of uh, Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like Jack's in the god darn menus. I'm downloading an update. That's okay. Five I'm just going to wait. Oh, my green screen is awful on this one. Five gigabyte update. You know what? I'm going to move my webcam over this side. Oh, I'm like half transparent. What the heck is going on here? Uh, is your stream still up? Should be. Hold on. I clicked off of it and clicked back on just to make sure. Now I'm, I'm looking at an ad. Yeah, it uh, should be working. I just, it's just because I'm changing some things. Yeah, it's working now. For yeah, it should be working. I've just changed, changed a couple of things. Okay. Cool oh, music. The heck? This is awesome. 
What? I've never heard this track of music before. Well, I, I'm not hearing anything. No, obviously. But, I mean, yeah. I'm waiting to... Um, yeah, man. I'm going to be on good old Brad's po podcast whenever he releases it. Hmm. I'm going to be on that blooming Missing Compies podcast soon. Oh, you are? Yeah, I was a guest on that. We talked for three hours. <laughs> yeah, we talked a long time when I was on... That was about a year ago. Mm. What did you guys talk about? Fallen Kingdom? Um... I can't even remember. We talked about all sorts. Like Jurassic stuff, right? Yeah. But, it, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jurassic stuff, and then it went into Titanic, Holocaust deniers. <laughs> it went all over Holocaust. the place. <laughs> he said he was just going to upload it in his whole... Talk about... Um, we are talking about conspiracy theories, talking about Titanic, and it just rolled onto there to do. We talk about people who deny the Holocaust and all that. People who deny Jurassic Park three existing. Yeah, I'll tell you one weird thing. Uh, this isn't that weird. Like for the longest time, I thought there was only three Jaws movies, and I thought it was really? Jaws, Jaws two, and Jaws the Revenge. Wow, I didn't know about Jaws. 3D. Mm. And then when I finally saw Jaws 3D, I was like, <laughs> I've never seen it like in 3D, by the way. Yeah. The way it, is. <laughs> like, it came on, I think it came on AMC. And I was waiting, I was like, oh, I guess Jaws Revenge. And this is Jaws 3D, 1980, whatever. I was like, what? <laughs> and I watched it, and I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, I already like had accepted that Jaws 4. And then, like watching Jaws three, I was just like, "Damn!" Those, they didn't even tr they did not try on those sequels. Like they they second really second one they did, I think. Second one is it's. I mean, you most... got John Williams coming back for the score, so we know at least in the score department, someone was trying. It's it's, <laughs> it's so mediocre though. Like I I don't feel just strongly about the it one where they, I don't hate it and I don't love it. Mm -hmm. I I don't like it. I don't dislike it. It's Jaws two. It's just like okay. Well, I say it's more of the same. That's the thing. It's like it's it's the it's if it's as if the first film had an extra two hours in the middle of it. <laughs> yeah, but those two hours weren't good. <laughs> like, they're, no. They're... It's all right. I've told it's, you my it... Jaws story, right? Like my relationship with the franchise. I was talking about it on a stream the other day. I th I think you told me. I don't know if I remember. I saw the first Jaws, loved it when I was a kid, but I actually right. had Jaws of Revenge on VHS recorded off TV, and that was the one I yeah, watched yeah, the you told most. Me that. And then yeah. I saw Jaws three after a number of years after that because that came on TV, and then um, Jaws two was this like elusive one that I just could not find anywhere. Oh really? That was the last one you saw? Yeah, I couldn't find it, and I remember being in high school and we just got the internet at high school for the first time. And I remember one of the first things I did was I downloaded, and it took ages, bear in mind, because this is back in the day of the internet just sort of becoming a thing. And um, it took ages to download this tiny little uh, really pixelated trailer for Jaws 2. <laughs> and I remember watching it going, oh my god, I'm seeing it for the first time. And, uh, and then eventually I found it on um, a DVD, I believe was the first time I saw it because it came out on DVD or did I catch on TV one of the two it happened I can't mm -hmm. remember but I eventually I saw it and I was like okay that was it it played sorry it played on TV yeah so are you a Jaws fan though like do you, you love I, Jaws I have a soft spot for Jaws even the really rubbish sequels I have all okay. of them on DVD I, I have um, Jaws and Jaws 2 on DVD I love the original favorite movies ever but like all the sequels i like i i have a bit of respect for jaws too because like as as mediocre as that movie is i can't say it's like trash yeah it's not the worst no but the jaws thing is it's bored but the thing is it's boring for the most part so like well, you got it's those boring kids on because the... there's fucking kids on the sailboats for like a whole movie and they're like dun, dun, yeah. dun, we're on the fucking sailboats <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and the girl dumping gasoline on her head, <laughs> like when she blows herself up with the flare. That's always, ridiculous. See, the version of Jaws of Revenge had. The, I'm talking about I Jaws had. too. Yeah, I know. I was just going to say, like, I I found Jaws two to be boring, but the um, like when I eventually did see it, but Jaws of Revenge. The video, the version I had was the ending where she spears the shark with the the end oh, of the ship. Oh, cool! So you it, had the it, cool and, version, and it breaks off, yeah, and sinks down. Right. I never knew about this whole exploding <laughs> toy shark ending until the internet. <laughs> and when I found that out, I was like, "Wow, like that is yeah awful." That's like, my really job. And right at the end, that's how I experienced it. Yeah, and at, like the end of the version I was watching, like, um. What's the guy's name? The black guy who gets killed. He gets eaten Mario Van the... Peebles. His yeah. name is Jack in the movie. Jack, that's it. That's what it's called in the movie. So he um he never comes back. So he just dies. So it's like that's a, that makes that's way cooler. Yeah. See, yeah. they pulled a fucking Billy, or <laughs> he's somehow alive. <laughs> what is it with Universal? Oh but shit! Then... Uh, how how can Billy come back? Uh, oh, Jaws. We'll we'll Jaws to revenge it. Got it. <laughs> Oh yeah, because that worked. Because that worked <laughs> brilliantly. <laughs> Jaws Free was the one. Jaws Free was the one that I I found to be the most um, kind of <laughs> sluggish, dolphin. sluggish to watch for the first like three quarters of it. But when the shark got... appears, from when from the moment the shark appears in the fish tank restaurant scene. Where they like they can look out into the lagoon from the restaurant. And they see the shark there. From that moment on, is is what I love about it. Ah, you're what in. about from uh? What about the scene where uh, there's like cardboard cut out the dolphins that are like flipping perfectly side by side at the end. I hate it all that. Oh my god, that's so weird. Especially because on TV it, the 3D just doesn't translate. They all have like big thick outlines around them. Or, um, I'm in the game, by the way, now. Yeah, I just, I've added, I've tried to add you, but you didn't click. I'll do it I again. Thought... You ready? Here it comes. All right, I accepted. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go war, Clayton. Let's go battle. Fucking, uh, dude, there's, you know, a few, about 10 years ago, Steven Spielberg said, oh, whoa. he was... Oh god. You good? Yeah, I'm getting two of you because I'm getting you through um, Overwatch as well. Oh, you might want to... I don't know how I you got, fix that. I've got to mute, I got to mute you. Um, social. Clayton. Mute. There you go. All good. Alright, is it working now? Yeah, yeah, we're back on track. Man, the fucking... Uh, Steven Spielberg, though, about ten years ago said he, he was... He said something about being interested in doing a Jaws sequel of his own. But so never... I would love it if Spielberg's last movie is a Jaws, Jaws two. <laughs> if his last movie was Jaws two. Yeah, because then if you don't, if I know some people, they say um, that like Jewel was his first movie. It's a TV movie, right? Made yes. for TV movie. Well, so you gotta, you gotta first... count Sugarland Ex Express. But did that come out theatrically? Oh, I don't know. I, don't I think know his first theatrical that. film was Jaws. Was it Jaws? That's so. crazy. So wouldn't it be great if his last movie was Jaws two? Like he just end, he bookends his film career with the Jaws movies, or like his cinematic film career. He could bring Hooper back. They never used him for the sequels. Yeah, yeah. He's still going. They could bring Michael Caine back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a great idea. I failed you, Master Wayne. I failed you. 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 Ellen oh. Brody. Yeah. I, I found you, Bruce. <laughs> Bruce the shark. <laughs> a ruby the size of a tangerine. <laughs> you can apply your own sand turn lotion. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's great in those movies. Why do we fall, Hooper? So that we can learn to pick ourselves up. I scuba dived, Master Hooper. <laughs> Master Hooper, <laughs> and he's rich too. Hooper's rich in jobs. Yeah.
Master Hooper, when your parents died, this city died. <laughs> Amity, as you know, means friendship. <laughs> oh God! What would what would Spielberg's sequel to Jaws be? Um. Oh, that's a good question. Let's let's let. Oh God, I got pinned. Let's um. Let's come up with Spielberg's Jaws two. What would he do? Do you reckon? He would make it darker. It'd be set in the redwood. <laughs> set in the and redwood. Jaws and... would rip hearts out of people. <laughs> God, that's so funny. Yes, Jaws is Jaws he's, is swimming in the he's ponds like, of California now. He's like bigger boat, bigger boat, and he pulls his heart out. There's two sharks. <laughs> Wait, they already did that. This time it's fucking real person. Are you referencing Jaws three when you say there was two sharks? Yes. Because is there two sharks in that film? There's the little one. Is that yeah, what you're counting? The whole idea of, of a shark, of a great white shark caring for its baby. It's so stupid to me. Yeah, bro, it's not accurate at all. I mean, granted, like, they don't, they don't have to be super accurate, but like, the way it like, floats up like a dead goldfish and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like, bobs up in there, it looks awful. Oh, he's dead! Oh my god. I think Spielberg would do like a, um... I think he'd do it in such a way that, like, the shark attack is different. So, like, if we're talking serious here for a second, I think he'd make it so it's not just one shark attacking or anything like that. I think he'd do like a group of sharks. Like a load of, and he'd change the species. Yeah, he'd go like tiger sharks. And he'd introduce different characters. Oh, what? But he would do it in such a way that like, Hooper would have to be called in. And so that's how like, you link it to the first one. So you got a whole load of new characters except Hooper. Yeah, he, he definitely, He'd do like Malcolm in Bloomin' Lost World, he'd do it that way. Like, who you know, the reason end? the reason he says that he has stuck with Jurassic Park, like where he's he's always produced the sequels. And he's never like he's he's never not been involved. Like it's not like Transformers where he just writes a check. You know what I mean? Like he he's involved yeah. with Jurassic World movies. The reason that is is because um in that Time magazine I got, he said he was he was so disappointed in how the Jaws sequels turned out. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, that, that well, he... who wouldn't be? <laughs> right, yeah, and I, I get it, like... They asked him back for Jaws, too, he said no. Yeah, what was he, what, he was doing Close Encounters then, right? Yeah, Close Encounters. I mean, Which good is... for him. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah right? <laughs> <laughs> What is Jaws 2 or Close Encounters? What would you say is better, Jurassic Park 3 or Jaws 2? I'd say Jaws 2. Really? Oh, I'd say Jurassic Park 3. What? For one, it's shorter. That's a problem. <laughs> no, yeah, it's a problem for Jurassic Park 3 in terms of Jurassic movies. But out of those two films, I want the shorter experience. <laughs> so I'm going Jurassic Park 3. These bloody bombs. Jaws of Revenge, or... I don't Whoa, know, I, I just glitched out. With it. What happened? I threw my um, ultimate, got it stuck to the big guy, and it blew up, but then I still have my ultimate. That's so, weird. Mm, I'm not complaining. And I stuck it on him again. <laughs> have you ever heard people that say, like, they think the Jurassic Park sequels, like, or the Jurassic Park movies in general, they go in like, their quality is in order of release. Yes, like, I've like heard Jaws. that. Yeah, I've heard that plenty of times. That's so weird to me. What, you think that like, they gave Jurassic Park, Lost World, Jurassic Park 3, Jurassic no, World, No, yeah, like, Fallen how can Kingdom. you say that? That's so weird. 
It is weird to say. That's like, that's like actually... How could anyone, like, with a good mind and conscience say that? Cause you know, like, a lot of people, back in the day they used to com they compared the Jurassic Park trilogy to the Jaws movies. Where like, cause you know, most people, consensus is not everything. It's all bullshit. But yeah, like, yeah. most people say that the Jaws movies kept getting worse and worse. What is uh, Crichton said? What was his words? Consensus Crichton, science. Uh, consensus, consensus science is, is not science. Scoundrels. Refuge of scoundrels. Yeah, exactly. There you go. That's it. If the consensus says they follow the Jaws movies, I'm not going to believe them. Don't get me wrong. I think the Jaws movies did continually get worse. But... See, I don't know. I don't know if I class revenge uh, so you like the revenge more than three just just because it, it's so ridiculous that it's so it, it, becomes, connection. it becomes so entertaining <laughs> and it's like I, i'll well, give you that it's like okay well i'm entertained at least you got like michael kane nose diving <laughs> a plane over the bahamas it's like completely dry by the way it's, it's <laughs> over the fucking boat <laughs> I failed you. I got my shirt dry. I was meant to be wet. Oh, I didn't even touch the wall. I was just grabbing onto the fuck the whole time. <laughs> I jumped from me plane into a tangerine. <laughs> into the tangerine. <laughs> you can tell he didn't uh, give a shit. Like while he was making that yeah. movie. Didn't he? Didn't he once say in an interview that he did that film because he yeah. wanted a new pool? He wanted to buy a house. He wanted to buy a pool, didn't he, for his house? So. <laughs> a pool? Yeah, I think he wanted to buy a pool, so he said he'd do Jaws How for How awkward, I'm doing a movie set in the water to buy a yeah, fucking... Exactly. <laughs> How great is that? I don't blame him. I'd do Jaws 4 for a, for a pool. Sign me up, I'll direct Jaws 5. <laughs> do you, what All do right, you think... Got... And uh, what do you think has more fan scripts written for it? Jurassic Park 4 or Jaws 5? Who the fuck? Are there even any fans left? <laughs> to write script. Uh, if you go on YouTube and write in... Uh, You're kidding! Oh god, there's a huge following for Jaws 5. In the Jaws circuits? That's their Jurassic Park 4. Really? I did not know that. That's so cool. Yeah. I have a Jaws 5 on my shelf, though. There's a little secret for you. Is it the one movie that's not really Jaws 5? It's yeah. called Jaws 5 in some areas? No, no, it's called Deep Blue Sea. Dude, Deep Blue Sea is Jaws 2. <laughs> that's the best sequel to Jaws. That's what I mean, like, I imagine Spielberg doing, uh, like, different sharks, more of the... I thought we'd get a Jurassic Park movie like that, though. Hmm. Oh, wait, and to like... Portrait... Fucking Jaws. What a franchise. <laughs> I literally have all four Jaws movies on my DVD shelf and then Deep Blue Sea is at the end. It's the unofficial Jaws film. Uh, yeah, I, I'll give Deep Blue Sea. Deep Blue Sea is way better than all the other Jaws movies. Yeah, it's the best like sequel to Jaws that wasn't a sequel to Jaws. That wasn't but, a sequel to but Jaws. But also, if you watch the film, it's nowhere near as serious as the first Jaws movie. No, it, it's way tongue in cheek. Yeah. Yeah. It's and they reference the first three Jaws movies. Each way they kill a shark in Deep Blue Sea, that's how a shark dies in Jaws. I I I heard you say that, and I was trying to replay in my head. The first, Remember? How does the first shark die in, Jaw, in Deep Blue Sea? Okay, I get the first and second mixed up, but blown? you know, how, you know how the last one dies, right? It, blown up, like... With a tank. With the battery. Its, the battery in its mouth. Well, it's got something yeah. in its mouth, yeah. Like Chief Brody blows up the shark. Yeah. Like, they even have the shot where they show it. I remember the one biting the electrical cable, but what I can't That's remember Jaws is how... That's Jaws Yeah. The like, other one explodes. Well, remember it gets inside of the... Uh, does Zell Cool J lock it in like an oven or something? He locks himself in the oven and then cuts himself there. into the top shelf. And then he it's throws, after he throws it eats the light in. Carrot. Yeah, and it blows up. Yeah, so like, but that's what I'm saying. Which film did it? Jaws 3. 
But they blew it up with a grenade, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they blew it up with a grenade, but it still But it's still an explosion. Yeah, no, I get you. I was just trying to remember how the first shark actually died. You ate you ate my bird. <laughs> Wait, what? That's what um uh Red Hood said in the chat. You ate my bird. You ate my bird. Which is what he says. I haven't seen that movie in years. I just bought it on DVD. I watched it not too long ago. It's uh, it's good. Is it good or is it like? It's, hey, fine. It, it, it's good. It's a good film. It's um. It's a fucking it's, classic. It's it's a t tongue in cheek. <laughs> I'd put it on the same level as Anaconda. Oh no! Now I rewatched Anaconda. That's not good. Well, Anaconda's great. What are you talking about? No, Anaconda's not good. Yeah, it is. What are you talking about, John Boy? Getting, getting bathed out of a snake. <laughs> He rips that little snake off uh, that guy's finger. <laughs> oh, well, I'm Jonathan Hyde. That's the actor's name. I, I uh, smiled at him when I worked at a uh, toy shop in London called Hamley's. He walked past. Is that past. the same toy shop where you met Johnny uh, Johnny Depp? It is. I almost said Johnny Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> oh mama! <laughs> oh mama! You got me some toys. <laughs> that that Bloomin' show is amazing. Johnny Bravo is so well written. It is. It is. It's really funny. It's actually that might be one of the funniest cartoons I've ever seen. And they get away with good like adult jokes in that. Yeah, they do. Fucking Farrah Fawcett talking about being tied up. It wouldn't. It would not fly in today's climate. No, there's no way. That misogynist show. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, the misogynist Bravo. That is male privilege. That's what they'd say. It was, it, which is stupid because it's made to be satire. Yeah, and also Johnny Bravo is the idiot. Like, <laughs> yeah, like he's, he's the got the lessons joke. to learn. <laughs> Bloody turret. Got it. Damn, I need to watch some Johnny Bravo. I ain't seen that in years. Oh, it's so good. Dexter's Lab was pretty good, too, by the way. <laughs> DD, what are you doing in my laboratory? <laughs> Omelette du fromage. Omelette du fromage. <laughs> Do you remember that episode? Uh, yeah. Ha 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 ha! I'm Mandar, Prince of Elves. One of my favorite episodes of that is this one with the ice cream truck, and um, like Dex, like there's a death in that episode. There's like, a death. Yeah, the ice cream, the the postman, like Dex is desperately trying to get an ice cream, and uh, like he can't. He, he's got like a jar of pennies or whatever. And uh, he, like the whole episode is him like trying to hunt down the ice cream man. There's a bit where he like commandeers a post uh, a post truck, and uh, and like says like follow that ice cream truck or whatever. And um, like, the postman truck ends up going off a cliff, screaming, and you never see him like hit, <laughs> you never see him hit the ground or anything like that. But he just goes off screaming, and and, uh, and that's it. That's the last you ever see of him. So when I was a kid, I was like, he died. Like that was it. That was a death. I remember the one where uh, Dexter fucking freezes. He's in the shower and it like freezes or something. Time freezes. Mm. I don't really remember what else happens, but I know. He... I remember the sound in that episode when it freezes. Like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. God darn it. I remember one episode where like his dad is trying to like um, spook him and he's watching this like scary film downstairs and his dad like he goes oh Dexter don't worry I'm only joshing like that and I just remember being a kid and laughing at the term joshing joshing nah, I'm only joshing <laughs> you ever watch uh, King of the Hill oh I love King of the Hill King of the Hills for a long time I didn't know it was a comedy because I thought it was normal because <laughs> that's how people talk around like where I live it's like 
<laughs> what is the joke? <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, King of the Hill's been ruined for me, though. It what? It's been ruined for me. Why? Because um, there's this YouTuber called Durnham Rocks who does like YouTube poop videos of King of the Hill, and they are more entertaining than the show by a long shot. Oh wow! They're so funny. They make oh, no chicken. sense. They're like sick trike videos. But, Bobby, what the yeah. hell? Yeah, <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> but whenever I watch, whenever I want to watch King of the Hill. All I want to do now is watch those Durnham Rocks edits. So like, I just watch those instead because they're so much fun. You have you ever seen the episode of Rob Zombie? So <laughs> <laughs> fucking sell so, propane and propane accessories. <laughs> propane. He like appears in his whole family appears in the Beavers and Butthead movie, don't they? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking movie. Yeah, if you go on YouTube, write in King of the Hill, or put Hank of the Hill. Hank um, of the Hill. Hank of the Hill or Death of the Propane Salesman. This is what oh, the God. videos are called. Like, they're so stupid. I'm going to send you a link to one after we've streamed. Okay. And I, I just because I want to hear your reaction to one of these. They're the, like, stupidest videos ever. But they are definitely worth, worth the trouble. It's just shit, Bobby. It won't kill you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like holding out a, a cracker with like browns on it, and they've like edited the audio, so it's like, <laughs> it's just shit, Bobby. It won't kill you. Someone just got a triple kill. Uh, Eight player kill streak. Nice. <sighs> yeah, I wasn't doing so hot early. <laughs> laughing too much. Um, Nashes. <laughs> 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 oh, please, God. Oh. <laughs> that other guy. <laughs> that other guy in the Lost World. Uh, fucking. What's his name? David David Kep's death in the Lost World is comical. That is, that's. Oh god! Oh god! I'm trapped on the lava. I d I don't like the <laughs> death sounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's too comical for me. That is. <laughs> it's the <laughs> when he's behind the car. It's like you wouldn't CGI hear. CGI legs kicking when out it's, of it's, his it's, 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 it's the fact that I don't mind the effects and the actual. Like animation on the deck or whatever, but I just don't like the sound. Mainly because the um, bloody um, T Rex, it'd be so loud you wouldn't hear him. You wouldn't hear him as crystal clear as you do going in the mouth. Yeah. What? What? Okay, here's a question. The goofiest death in all the movies. All Jurassic Park movies. What's the goofiest death? Goofiest death. N Nash's death is real fucking. But like. <laughs> Ah, uh, Nash's, the beginning of Nash's death is goofy. That's probably the goofiest. But I might have to go with um, either David Coep's one or Carter. Oh, Car no, I like Carter. I like Carter's death, but it's... it's... It is goofy, you're right. It's ah, Squash. Yeah, and then he gets picked up by the foot again. Yeah, you're right. That's Cooper. But in terms of I overall actually, goofiness, like Cooper's death is the for me. That's the best kill in Jurassic Park three by far. I think it's one of the best kills in the entire franchise. It's pretty good. Just because of how violent it is, like how the thing just runs out and snatches him off and the his, road. His scream feels like a real man's scream. Yeah. Like he's fucking scared now. His crybaby face, like stop. Yeah, stop. <laughs> it's really like, uh, that's, but, like you know that's memeable. Some would say. Stop. Come on, Coop. No, I can't stop this play. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Let's get this movable feast underway, Clayton. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm gonna. I'm. What I'm gonna do? Yeah. In this 
is I'm going to rush for the, um, the payload and I'm just going to stand on it and jump all over it and... Okay, well then I'm coming. Yeah, I'm, I'm going straight over there now. I'm just going to move this payload. Oh, they've, they've got a turret. Do I need to destroy that turret? Damn it. Well, I, I pushed it ahead a bit. Oh, he yeah, keeps I... moving that turret. That turret is like... Nash's death is goofy as fuck, though. Like... Did anyone die in the Jurassic World movies that was even... Where they were like... Blah, 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 blah. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like... The deaths in Jurassic World are so... Like... They're actually pretty fucking violent. They are violent. I mean, the guy, the first death, the guy who, um... Gets pulled apart by the Indominus, like, just ripped to shreds. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, man. No, we're not gonna win this. We lost. We need to just get on that payload, but we only got 10 seconds to get there. I'm not gonna do it. No. Just get on the payload if you can. I'm behind you. Ah, oh, <laughs> shit. That wasn't quick enough. Oh man, two defeats. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, thought you might. You. You, you deskies. You, you deskies. Deaths kind of. I know people like it, but I feel, always thought it was kind of cringy. Are we including dinosaur deaths in this? No. Just if, just I, if we if we were, I'd say the gymnastics wrapped it. Oh yeah, that's real stupid. Greed there. I'm trying to think, what was the worst death in both the Jurassic World movies? Sorry. Right. The worst death in both Jurassic World movies, like the worst, like what was not good for a death? Mm, well, obviously. Uh, Zara goes up there, but also I would argue. I, I liked Zara's death. Oh no no! I, oh, you were talking about worst in terms of yeah, quality. like the not not good. Sorry, right? I thought you meant worst as in if you were to experience. <laughs> no, I meant like like Nash's death. I think is not good. <laughs> um, I don't know. All the deaths are pretty good in the world movies. Some are outstanding, in my opinion. Zara being one of them. Yeah, Zara's great. The only one that comes close to me is when the Duranodon drops that guy on the, uh, the car. On the car. Mm. That's the only one where I'm like, that's a little weak. Yeah, well, it kind of feels weird because the Duranodon just picks him up and drops him. Yeah. It's, it's a fine kill. It's just not... Don't get me wrong, it's not like... Oh, God, please! <laughs> 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 Fucking stupid ass Nash. <laughs> you know, I've interviewed the guy who played Nash. Oh, he's probably cool. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> no, he's he's really eccentric. I bet he was eccentric and dying. <laughs> he's all about getting munched. Oh, <laughs> please! Oh, oh, please! Oh please! Ah, where does the blood come from, by the way, that drops on Amanda's face? You ever thought about that? It bites his legs. Like... I guess it just splattered out, I guess, from his... It's uh... like a perfect little drop of blood on Amanda's face. Yeah, it's, it's really... it's always got me, because I always look at that whenever it happens. Where'd that come from? Did he... Did he is he at, like, AIDS or something? He's, like, spit blood on her... God. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any fucking sense. I think it's just meant to be the splat of the leg being crunched. But the leg's like far away from her face. Yeah. Maybe it's just blood from the Spinosaurus. Like just generally. Because nah. it did just munch on Cooper. Maybe like, he, he busted his lip in the crash. That's what it is. <laughs> Might have been, yeah, it might have been from Cooper's, ma uh, Nash's m mouth. Someone in the chat, Red Hood said. Like, chomps his leg and he's like got bleeding in the mouth. Like, bleh, like coughs up. Who would win in a fight, Udesky or Cooper? Uh, Cooper. 
Cooper, fuck you, Desky up. Jeski isn't even a marine. He's the he's the guy who works at the desk. He comes in because someone got sick. That's so stupid, by the way. Like, how did he? I would love a Jurassic Park spin-off movie that follows the ex the life and death of Jeski. No, no, the mercenary who got sick and didn't go to the island. <laughs> like a whole movie, of this guy just like living at home, hearing about his friends going on this mission and blah blah blah. And he can't go. Damn, dodged a bullet there. Yeah, and he's like. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great as like a little comedy side movie? It would be funny for sure. I definitely think. I you know, I might actually do that. <laughs> what? You want to make a video on it? I might no, not a video on it. I might actually make a movie. <laughs> you make it canon? Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna go there, but. Well. Yeah, make a YouTube video. It's just like a. Like an hour and a half long. Like nothing happens in the film. He's just at home, just making cups of tea and just sitting there, winding his hours down. He goes, "I lost my job because uh, my friends went on this mission. I, I got sick. I, I couldn't go. So you know, the guy who worked, but <laughs> like behind the counter, he stepped in for me. This guy called Udesky. I mean, I I owe him everything." Because he took he took a bullet for me. He, he took, really took, he took a, a neck snap by a fucking raptor. Velociraptor <laughs> is what they call it. <laughs> Velociraptor. There's old Jurassic Park toy commercials. Grant gets a raptor! <laughs> in the Look bush the devil mark. tracker! Look for the mark of Jurassic Park! <laughs> the fucking mark! Did you see um, Sick Trike's Jurassic June video this year? Uh, the really long I... compilation. No, I didn't. Did, I you did didn't because he included the Cooper, the it's, Cooper it's, plane it's, it's, meme in it. The Coop, Cooper plane meme? <gasps> oh, if you haven't seen this, Clayton, you've been missing out. This was what like one of the best things to come out of Jurassic June this year. I sent, I sent, uh, you know the, um, I did that podcast with Chris and Tom. Yeah. Uh, and oh, where you mentioned the super colossal, the super colossal Cooper. Yeah, I remember that. Well, I sent, I sent Sick Trike a message <laughs> to say, um, I'd love to see a commercial, like a toy commercial for a super colossal Cooper. Don't know if you could do anything. And he went, I'm on it. That's all he said. And then he released this video days later which went above and beyond what I was expecting and it's all to do with Cooper dude you're gonna love it it's so funny I'll, I'll check it out uh, we'll watch it together after this because all right I would I would, I would play it on the stream for everyone but I'd, then I'd get demonetized Sheesh. fucking Cooper selfish bastard wants all the money where's all the music more than the visuals. I'd show the visuals because he messes with the footage so much that it's not like... Fucking Cooper. Cooper memes. It's so weird to think about Jurassic Park. Like, all the deaths happen... Like, in... Like, the beginning of the movie. Are you like... talking about Jurassic Park 3? Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Your mic you, cut like, out, so it just sounded like you said Jurassic Park. Sound like I said what? Just Jurassic Park. I didn't hear the free because the mic. No, the, that third movie. It's weird to like look back on. Like everyone who dies dies like in, in ten minutes of each other. Yeah, that was something when I was a kid. I was annoyed at. I thought, oh, loads of deaths just happened. There's barely anyone left, and I just thought, like, oh, this is gonna be like one of those kind of movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> JP3 plays more like a, a Lake Placid movie than it does a Jurassic Park. Yeah. You know I, I, mean? I, get, like, I get where you're coming from with that. Like, it doesn't... It's more like creature feature. Mm. Monster of the Week. Yeah, there you go. Like. Mm. But I will argue, in hindsight, now with what Jurassic World did, and I've said this before in the past. 
you go back and watch Jurassic Park 3, it does add a lot to the lore. Like, it really does, in hindsight. Uh, yeah, I know you... Now, like, like we've now guess... got a film where there's the... I mentioned it earlier when we were talking, but, like, now when you watch the series, the, um, the whole open theme park thing makes more sense. The fact that when you think of the... Um, uh, scene where Alan Grant asks if the audience if there's any questions and they uh, all put up their hands and stuff it like it means there's like huge public interest in the dinosaurs which oh, obviously yeah, would yeah, be I get that. but like it's added more context for that sort of thing and like the whole um, embryotics administration Yes, like that's true. that's my favorite set. Oh, that's my favorite scene uh, location on Sauna. I still kind of don't like that because like they don't explain anything with it. Like that's the birthplace of the dinosaurs, man. That's where it all began. Yeah, I guess, but like not really. Like <laughs> I guess, but not really. The real birthplace was Hammond's hatchery in Nublar. No. And then it was retconned by that terrible film law. <laughs> Last World ruined everything. Spielberg ruined the franchise. <laughs> oh my god, I am getting eviscerated here. Really? Yeah, I just well, I just was taking on like four of them. They're all at the top of the ramp. Surrender to my will. Surrender, Gandalf. You're late. A wizard is never late. A wizard late. is never late. Frodo Baggins, nor is he early. He arrives, he arrives precisely, precisely when he means to. When he means to. <laughs> Fucking Gandalf. Bye, <laughs> you fools. I've heard like a massive fan theory about that line that said like he says fly you fools because he's basically telling them to get about the eagles. What? He's telling them to get use the eagles, but they don't realise that's what he's trying to This he's is what they them... This is what they theorize, bear in mind. What is he telling them? To use the eagles to fly to Mount Dor <laughs> Oh really? Yeah, he's like fly you fools instead of like people take well, it as like use them for quite a while. <laughs> Fool of a took. But they go into this like whole um, like convoluted theory, which you think I would enjoy is what I do with the Jurassic stuff. But it's like it's too convoluted. It's like why wouldn't he just say use eagles <laughs> instead of fly you fools? Ray is Luke's mother. What? It's it's all in the canon. Ray is Luke's mother. Ray is Luke's mother. No. Yes. You just don't want to accept it. Wait, how does that even work? <laughs> Padme is his mom. Like. No, it's Ray. Ray rhymes with Padme. Doofus. <laughs> That's the crux of the theory. What that she's a. Oh, Jesus. Ray, sh it, Ray is, is <laughs> Ray Shmi, Shmi. Sh Shmi Skywalker's mother. Oh my god. I actually Shmi really was a virgin birth. <laughs> Not a kid. Shmi is the key. Shmi, Shmi is key. the key to all this. Jar Jar fucked Shmi. They are and really that fighting Fred hard. Fred Anakin. Now. They are really fighting hard. Yeah. Raise George Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, stuff in there. They're gonna push this forward. Ray is keyed off. I'm calling it now. I think Ray is a clone of Anakin. I think so too. It's too obvious. Ray is Luke's mother, Jack. You don't get that. Theory. I don't know if this is like a legit theory that you've. Uh... No, I just made it up. <laughs> it sounded legit, didn't it? I think we should. We should like start. Darth we... Georgia. We should they, start. They're just gonna do this, dude. We need to get rid of this guy. This fat guy. 
I'll take him out. I'll take him out. Come on. There you go. Got it. Yeah, got there you go. Yeah. Fuck this Finally, cow we won. Yeah, fucking. Ray is Luke's mother. <laughs> <laughs> Ray is George Lucas. Uh, see you later, Red Hood. Have a good night. Take it easy, man. Ooh, I got an endorsement level up. What's that mean? You've been promoted to level four. Hmm. You've been endorsed by the Empire. Why was the Empire all British? Has anyone ever thought that? Isn't that a little like? Because uh, they're, because you know, they're racist against uh, us Brits. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. We always have to. No, it's because they were in the, uh, the empire was like a metaphor for the Nazis, and uh, Nazis aren't British. No, but they needed that European twang to their voices. They couldn't go German. No, that'd be too on the nose. They have to go British. You may fire mm -hmm. when you may fire well, when ready. Where's your papers, Monsieur Skywalk? <laughs> <laughs> Where are the plans to the Death Star? <laughs> Nine. That's what Darth Vader says when he <laughs> when he steps off the thing instead of no. Luke never. Luke. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father, Fraulein. Told you no! He told me you experimented on him in a concentration camp. <laughs> no. No, Luke. No, no, I am your father. I am your Faja. I am your Führer. I am your Führer. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Someone was just sitting Fuhrer. peacefully and I just gunned them down while saying, I'm your Fuhrer. I feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I am your Fuhrer. Uh, Mike Tobin says, my wife is German, lol. Yeah, what, um, my friend married a German last month. We went to a wedding, met her German family, it was great. Just to clarify, I have nothing against the Germans. <laughs> Well, it was the start of Star Wars has some. I know, Brits. well, Star Wars. It is. But I honestly believe that's why they chose the British. It's because they needed that European twang. That's my Probably. theory. Good old farm boy Luke. <laughs> Luke! I can't watch Star Wars anymore. I can't either. It's It hurts me. <laughs> It's so bogged down with stuff that I watched the original yeah. show and I was like thinking about all this other stuff. That's what the internet told you. <laughs> if I'm going to watch Star Wars now, I'll watch the Mr. Plinkett reviews because they're the only one that <laughs> exists is the Phantom Menace. <laughs> That's the only one I can actually watch because really? it's been beaten into the dirt so much that I'm like, I feel fine for watching it and. <laughs> <laughs> Even this this original trilogy Star Wars movies. If I watch one, it, it, like if I had to pick one up now and watch it, it'd be Return of the Jedi. Which one? Return of the Jedi. With those Ewoks. Yeah. Oh, I just I just love it for um, I just love it for Luke versus Vader at the end. Yeah, that's like, great. Oh my god, that fight is so good. There is no conflict. Maybe your sister. Will... Set yourself. <laughs> Set yourself, Fiona. <laughs> and the Death Star will be quite operational. <laughs> <laughs> your friends, right? <laughs> I had, I had during the, uh, during that, uh, the election of 2016 when I was running my. Uh, personal training business mm. I had a uh, someone I didn't even train left like a bad review on my thing for some political reason yeah I'm like a on my Facebook page and I put a I'm not used to this map by the way I've never played this map before so I don't I think no I have idea. either I put something like a 
I'm afraid this business will be quite operational without your <laughs> <laughs> mm. It pissed them off so bad. <laughs> oh crap. I don't know this map. What is it? Oh, they're moving a payload up oh, the street. Oh, what's going on? Okay, we've got to stop that payload. Well, this fucking guy from Warcraft is after me. Sorry, I got you back. He's dead. What is, what, oh, to you, see, what is the worst Star Wars movie in you? In my opinion. Yeah. Attack, uh, Phantom Menace. Really? Bear in, my, bear in mind, I haven't seen uh, Last Jedi. The Phantom I Menace. And I haven't seen, um, I haven't seen Last Jedi and I haven't seen Solo. So I'm just, I'm not including those obviously in my... You haven't uh, seen Solo? No. I'll tell you what my least favorite one is. Rogue One. Hmm. I really don't like Rogue One. I preferred Rogue One over Force Awakens. The Force Awakens? Yeah. Because I, I, at least I, I appreciated it a lot more for being... I mean, I still, it's gonna sound, it's gonna sound really like fanboy of me or whatever, but... The fact that it was set during the time of the original... Yeah, it doesn't feel like it to me. I actually really like the... Well... Now I re I revisited it and... It's. I don't hate the movie, but it's definitely. Which one, sir? Episode seven. Like that one to me. Oh, I just. It, no, I can. I can get. Out I think board. the reason I don't like it now, though, is because of the Last Jedi, and I don't even hate the Last Jedi anymore. I'm just kind of like, I didn't like it. Like so, I moved on. I don't talk shit about it. Hmm. I've talked to you about it. Like I refuse to get on the internet and just be like a. But like. I don't know. To me, Rogue One. So I, I like the whole um, end battle of Rogue One. I just wish that they. Um, I just wish they'd hidden Grand Moff Tarkin's face more. Oh yeah. I that. just wish they'd then done done that. Not shown Carrie Fisher's CGI face at all. Just showed the back of her head because we all know who that is. Why don't we just do deep fakes? Deep fakes. <laughs> I mean, you could. I'm, I'm actually being serious. Yeah, no, I've seen some really convincing ones of those, but yeah. Like, if it looks good, that's the whole point, right? My favorite one of those is Steve Buscemi's face on uh, Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just go on YouTube, right, in Steve Buscemi, Jennifer Lawrence deep fake. Like, oh. someone's taken Steve Buscemi's head and stuck it on Jennifer Lawrence as she's given a speech. And it is, it's so creepy because it just looks real. I saw a, uh, I saw one on fucking. My, Michael Thomas was, says he prefers Rogue One over Force Awakens. Yeah, boy. I saw a, a Jim Carrey. They put Jim Carrey's face over Jack Nicholson in The Shining. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> it's it actually, it's pretty cool. I've seen one where they put Sylvester Stallone's face. Oh my too. god! This team, they are. They're they sucking my dick right they're now. They're going to kick our ass. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to get in there. I'm going to I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. I got 5 seconds to kill him. Not just the men, but the women and the children. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's me. That's me. No, I'm dead. Clayton, stay, hold the fort. Hold the fort! Don't die! Turn oh, into a ghost! <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you are our last it bastion. It was an honor serving with you, boys. Bastion. <laughs> Atreyu. Bastion. That's what they need to do a reboot of. Where's my never-ending story? How can you have a never-ending story if you don't do never-ending sequels? <laughs> Have you ever seen the the Never Ending Story three? Yeah, oh, years ago. With Jack Black and his unibrow. No, I didn't realize Jack Black was in it. <laughs> yes, Jack Black's the leader of the the mean kids. 
the nasties or whatever their names were. Oh my god. No, I, I remember watching them when I was really little. I used to be absolutely terrified of the rock monsters when I was a kid. Of the, of the what? The rock monsters, like those big rock people. Oh man, they're cool. I know they're cool now. I've watched like them. They're really strong hands. They're really friendly and stuff. But when I was a kid, their, their look just, I was scared of them. Like, I was really little when I was scared of those. I'm talking like maybe three before. This is before Never Jurassic Park. In a story. I like that turtle. Mm. And the slug and the bat and the Siamese woman. It's the fact that when the character start Moonchild or whatever her name is, when she starts talking to you, the audience, like I, when me, I bought <laughs> my wife that on DVD <laughs> as like uh, as like a Valentine's Day gift because she loves Labyrinth. It's one of her favorite films. Yeah, and, I love Labyrinth. And she and I was like, she'd never seen the Never Ending Story. I don't think so. I was like, oh, how have you never seen that? So for a Valentine's Day gift, I got her that on DVD just to like say, you know, you can watch it and enjoy it. And we were watching it, and I just completely forgot about that whole sequence where she starts talking to you, like, about you watching the film. And I, we were freaking out. We're like, she's talking about us. That's why it's the never-ending story. Because we have to keep watching this DVD in order to keep the, the nothing away. <laughs> That's how it works. You know, for that movie, that actually is a pretty good movie. Like, even... it's It's old, but it's... I, I enjoy, I've never seen part two. I've seen one and three. But, but that first movie was... I think that's something special. Oh, I just turned a corner and got clobbered in the head by a hammer. Never-ending story. There might be some interest after the Bloomin' Season 3 thing, Michael Thumb. Of uh, Stranger Things. What do they talk about? Never ending story in it? Oh, there's a big thing about the never ending story in that. What about the fucking. Do they talk about the wolf thing? The wolf? Yeah, the oh, wolf. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it's nothing like that. Well, that was the best part of the fucking movie. <laughs> yeah. I've never played this map before, it's throwing me off, because I don't know where I'm really going. I just remember being a kid and seeing him stab the fucking wolf with that, what was it, like a piece of glass or something? It's like, mm. that's so fucking metal. <laughs> <laughs> Stabs this fucking wolf in the I remember Super people Mario. saying they were scared of that wolf when they were a kid, but I was always the one who's like, I was no, never I was... scared of the wolf, I always thought it was cool. What I mean is, but you know there's lots of people out there who state that that was something that scared them when they were a kid. That wolf. You ever seen that? When people say, like, what scared you as a kid? That wolf's usually in that in those lists. Oh, it is? I didn't know that. Uh, I've seen it in, like, numbers of, like, childhood scares. Or well, anyway. That must be an 80s kid thing. Yeah. Point is, though. I would be the one who's going, no, those rock monsters. Did you see those rock monsters? They're hideous. And they're, like, the good guys. <laughs> Oh. I always wanted to see the never ending story too. I never saw that one. That's your Jaws 2. That's like me and Jaws 2. I never saw it for ages. No, I don't want to see it that bad. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I don't know. Clayton, you want to get it on DVD, record a commentary for your channel. <laughs> so it goes from Jurassic Park content, and then it's just one video about the never ending story <laughs> 2. <laughs> Part 2! <laughs> <laughs> you never reference it ever again. <laughs> <laughs> you're all right opening. so we're going to talk about the lore of ever story 2 and your opening music is the never ending story <laughs> <laughs> this team is relentless Oh god, they're moving it, they're moving it. They ain't moving shit. They ain't moving shit. Oh, they got me. <laughs> what was the most disappointing, like, most disappointing part two you've ever seen? Uh, oh god, Pacific Rim 2. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I saw Emily Carmichael. Oh, god. 
where she was like, uh, that movie was more like something I worked on for a couple weeks and then was taken away from me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like, it was rewritten a couple more times. <laughs> yep. I thought she was one of the last people to work on it, but no. No, no, no. No. That movie's big problem, though, I don't necessarily think was the screenplay. I think it was Stephen DeKnight's directing. Or actually, I won't even say that. The fucking editing of the movie. Holy shit. The editing, the characters, Ed the, like... Uh, the, the direction the they went in was so corny. And well, they, well, I didn't mind the corniness of the direction. The world building was cool. It was the fact that, like, the physics had all changed. So, like, in the first film, skyscrapers were, like, really brittle. They, they like, fall to pieces and all that sort of stuff all the time. And then in this film, you got giant, like, Jaegers jump kicking off buildings like they run up well, they were, the side of buildings and then kick off them and you're like that's not how it works they were also uh they were using buildings to like drop buildings on other people or on other monsters and i i thought that was i, I was thinking in collateral damage and shit i was like yeah no that's the fuck, whole point there's a, these they, robots there's a they're, scene they're fucking... there's a scene in the first pacific rim where he's walking along in the giant jaeger right and they make a point of showing it step over a bridge. So like it's they like make... they they don't mind that like it's footprints are creating all sorts of stuff on the ground, right? But they, there's a point. There's yeah, there's a a bit in that film where they show the Jaeger that the main characters are driving. They um they step over a bridge. Like the camera's on the floor and it like follows the Jaeger as it walks over the camera. And in that shot, it steps over a bridge. So it always made me feel weird in the new one that it's like they're just using buildings and there's so much collateral damage and all this sort of stuff. I just didn't like it. Like, I, I saw that in theaters and I'm pretty disappointed in it. I mean, that, I don't think that's the worst part, too, I've ever seen. The... I mean, that was the first one that jumped to mind because it's quite recent. You ever seen Conan the Destroyer? Holy shit! <laughs> it's, oh, I will admit it's been some years since I've seen a single Conan film, but uh... okay. Well, the first Conan is great. Like it's yeah, the the original Conan the Bar fucking Conan two. Oh my god! I don't know <laughs> what they were smoking. Is that the one where he punches the camel? Nah, he punches the camel in the first movie. He 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 hits a camel over the head with his fist in the second. It's weird. The well, second I'll... one's the one where fucking Wilt Chamberlain and Grace Jones and like it's rated PG for some reason <laughs> instead of the first one was R. Conan was like every other scene he was like fucking some woman like that was butt naked. Wasn't it like? They cut someone's head off in the opening as well of that film. Yeah, they cut Conan's mother's head off. Yeah, that used to terrify me when I was younger. That scene. That's a great, yeah, that that opening is It was that and Highlander. When I was little, I saw um, people's heads being cut. Here we are, born to be kings. <laughs> we the princes of the universe. Michael Tharm in the chat says, uh, Independence Day 2, that was... Now see, I didn't see that one. That is just Clayton never see it. <laughs> that I, might I, that, that want to give it a chance. <coughs> excuse me. That doesn't top my list because I really liked Pacific Rim one, and that's why I was really disappointed with the second one. Like I really enjoyed Pacific Rim the first one. I was mad for it. It's pretty but, good. But Independence Day, Independence Day, was a film I liked, but I wasn't like uh, like. I'm overly, Welcome to over, Earth. Yeah, I wasn't overly disappointed <laughs> the fact that the sequel. I was disappointed with the sequel, but I, I liked Independence Day. Back in the day, I loved it. It's been a while since I've seen it. Most disappointing second movie. I mean, real dude. I, Pacific mm. Rim Two. You are right. That was pretty. It's just cause, like I really, really enjoyed Pacific Rim One for its yeah I got simplicity, you. but also in the fact that people were bitching about uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters. 
saying that one was bad. No. That movie wasn't that bad. That movie's great. Until then. Who's saying that? The internet? Yeah. Highlander 2 is real bad. <laughs> <laughs> the Immortals are from space. <laughs> what? If you've ever watched the Italian Alien 2. No, is... no, I want to though. I never saw that. that, well, that you... There's nothing happens in it. It's gotta be an alien. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Barely anything in that film. Just a load of miners running around in the dark for 90 minutes. <laughs> so does it pick up after the events of Alien or what? I don't think he even mentions the original Alien. They just called it Alien 2? <laughs> they just called it Alien 2, yeah. To catch Isn't there it. an unofficial, like, Alien 3? Oh, is there? I don't know. I think there is. It's like Alien 2 Part 2 or something. Quadruple kill! I just went mad then, I was shooting the walls. I can't say gun crazy. Man. I'm trying to think of one that was bad. Like, There's a lot of part threes that suck. Oh, yeah. My god. That was so intense. Oh, six player yeah. kill streak. Dang. God dang. The Thing prequel is okay. Shame it was a reshot. It, yeah, I, I kind of like the Thing prequel. Uh, I mean. I saw it once though, like 10 years ago. When, when did that movie come out? 2011? 2011, yeah. Eight, right. eight years ago? Hmm. I did a double bill with that film. I went and saw Tintin and then went and watched that. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> Did a double bill. It was awesome. I had a fun time. Even though I didn't come out of the cinema raving about the movies. <laughs> that was around the time when people started bitching about CG. They're like, CG's terrible, yeah, it's to be practical 100% of the time! Really? You think that was that late in the game? I remember that happening when Bloomin' Attack of the Clones came out. That was where I was first In introduced. 2002, were people pitching about that? Yeah, because of the CGI I I, I in, in Attack of the Clones, like the Yoda. I don't, I don't were... remember them bitching about it when it was new. I remember later, like after the fact. I remember when it came out, people were just talking about it was a Star Wars movie. I could be wrong, though. You could be right. I, I remember specifically, like, reading stuff in, like, um, in magazines like Empire and stuff, like talking about the quality of CGI and all that. Really? Oh, oh shit, we need to get on that point now. We do. Oh, it's a round match, okay. Damn titty fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Please monetize this, YouTube. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, uh... That's right, I got flagged for a number of words that we've said tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the whole fucking video. As soon as I said Holocaust deniers, it... <laughs> <laughs> so, conspiracy. I bet you, bet you King Kong don't believe in that Doc Gone Holocaust. It never happened. <laughs> I am a little concerned about Godzilla vs. Kong. Just because... Nah, it's a different director and everything. Like, it's different... No, I, I liked King of the Monsters. Mm. But, like, King Kong's, like... Not even half the size of Godzilla. He's still growing. He, uh, they mention it in, in Skull Island. How fucking much does he grow? He's got to grow. Well, he's got to be. He's got to be bigger. That means he's least. like a toddler in the in that Skull Island movie. Yeah, like he's he's not that old. <laughs> oh no, he's not fully grown. They said he's still growing. Thing is though, I would prefer if Kong was a little bit smaller, because it'd be cool to have him like swinging around on the buildings, and it's like, nah, yeah, that's and, and he, he's like crawling all over God's He's like one swinging little fireball. No, he's like, like, it'd be interesting to see like all the ingenious ways that Kong could avoid Godzilla's attacks. I think that so would get old real quick. 
Well, it depends. Depends on how they do it. Should have did Kong versus Gorgo. Because then, because then you have the scene where like Godzilla finally catches Kong. And he like picks him up in his hands, and he's shoves like, him up mother's no, no. ass. <laughs> <laughs> Take me seriously for five minutes, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to have a real conversation with you. No, like Godzilla picks up Kong like, in his hands, yeah. And he's got Kong right in front of his jaws and his sails start, like, glowing, right? And it's like, oh shit, Godzilla's just going to blast him right in the face while holding him. Mm -hmm. And then Kong, just as the blast is about to come, he uh, uses his strength in his arms to shut Godzilla's jaws like he forces his mouth sh shut and then Godzilla yeah. like implodes and you're like done <laughs> done <laughs> done Kong won and he used Godzilla's breath against him and in the end is the heart still beating like in GMK yeah I just cleared this I just cleared this whole area I'm coming I'm coming Oh god, oh god. Um, you know they wrote on the teaser post of the Kong v Godzilla that one will fall, so I'm they really hope they wrote one will fall. So I'm 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 really hoping they? they stick to that, yeah. Because wouldn't that be great if they actually just chose one to win? To be like, they'll, they'll, if they wrote that, they'll they'll kill Godzilla, and that'll be bullshit. Because they just had a movie called King of the Monsters. Yeah, but they also in that film said that he's going to become the enemy. So he's going to be the villain. Who, Godzilla? Yeah. That's cool, but like... Well, that, that's, where, that's where it's all hinting towards right now. It's like, whether they actually go through it is a different story. But in King of the Monsters, they're like, I'm glad he's on our side. And then one of them's like, for now. And it's like, that's the biggest hint we've got to the fact that Godzilla's going to gonna be evil. Or at least evil in, in a sense that like... We're gonna, you're gonna probably be rooting for Kong. At least that's the way they're setting it up. Because Kong is the underdog in the fight, so it's like... I, I guess. In, a story is compelling if you're rooting for the underdog. Yeah. <sighs> you're just like, I just want Godzilla to kick Kong's ass. <laughs> yeah, I really do. I don't want King Kong. <laughs> See, this is the beauty of being a Godzilla and a Kong fan. Like, I don't yeah. mind who wins, really, but... <laughs> but at the same time, I think Kong's more... I like... I like the 1933 King Kong. Oh, yeah, I love it. I like the 2005 King Kong. I like Son of Kong. I even like King Kong versus Godzilla. You just don't like uh, Skull Island. No, uh... I don't like the, the 76 version. No, I don't like those. They're the worst. I think it's King Kong Lives I only watched once. And I remember being, like, impressed with the fucking, like... <laughs> it sure showed me. You know, like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, you, you fucking... That exists. <laughs> Are we going to take this? Are we going to... Oh, 97% and we just took it. I'm gonna King get killed. I'm gonna lives. kill that sniper. King Kong lives. I'll do this terrible. I was so surprised. Like, I remember renting that on oh, shit. A, a video rental store and just going like, Hmm. What? <laughs> <laughs> I remember so little. I remember King Kong eating gators. I remember they gave him the heart transplant. I remember Lady Kong and uh, like the pregnancy rate like of uh, King Kong. I know, right? Real fucking quick. <laughs> it's like days <laughs> or a day, <laughs> isn't it? One day. It's like one. They night. reproduce quicker than the fucking Godzilla in the '98 movie. That's, like ridiculous. And then like I remember, I remember. Does that movie have Linda Hamilton in it? Yeah. It does. Does yeah. she have? Does she have like a very brief nude booby scene where like she's? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that specifically. I remember. Of course, she did. Young Clayton, wide eyed, King old. Kong lives. I was wow. watching King Kong like, and I was like, King Kong lives. Is there a flash your boobs at like the screen? 
<laughs> just the fact they had this big crane to like get his heart out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and when King Kong kills the general, whatever, by like smashing his fist. <laughs> and they, I think Stands on his, doesn't he, in the ground. His legs are sticking up out of the hole. <laughs> that movie's fucking ridiculous. That was, I was impressed. I'll say that. Never seen a movie like that. Oh, man. Yeah, King. Uh, see, I'd rather watch King Kong Lives over the '76 version. Any than the '76 version, because the '76 yeah. version I find to be just quite. It is boring. There's no dinosaurs. There's one. One. Snake. One fucking. One fucking. Is it even like a practical effect? It's like a rope. <laughs> like, like, it's just a rope. <laughs> break its neck. It looks so bad. No, Even the, it. like, why, did, why couldn't they do go motion in, in that moon? Like, money and time. But, like, in the suit doesn't look, it, the suit looks, I don't know. It, the suit isn't, like, bad, bad, but the, the face is, is good. Is... It, but the movements of King Kong in those remakes was it's... like a guy, like a wrestler in a costume. It's the, it's the um, composite as well. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah. Like, the composite is awful. They couldn't afford one dinosaur, though? Like, for real? Skull Island doesn't even have, like, a compi? A single compi? <laughs> <laughs> but they got a snake! Isn't it they don't call- do they not- they don't, I don't think they call it Skull Island in the 70s. Oh, I don't version. remember, dude. It's been- I- all I remember about that one was they were looking for oil. I remember Jeff Bridges somehow was a paleontologist with a beard. Something like that, yeah. What kind of fucking paleontology he's doing? Yeah, that one. Uh. It's crazy though, because like. The 33 King Kong is so oh good. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we're, I think we're getting our asses kicked. <laughs> yeah, we are, yeah. I just took out the tank by standing on top of it. Oh, Mike says that Ray Harryhausen was, was asked to time was too short. Yeah, see, yeah, time. No way! Man, that I did not know that. That would have made the film a lot better. Yeah, it would have <laughs> drastically improved it. Because you know, you know for a fact Harryhausen would have done more than one fight with a creature. Yeah, he'd been well versed. He'd done, like, 69 was Valley of Guanji, right? Oh, I didn't mean to click stay as a team. <laughs> no, we're gonna Can be Let fun. me cancel that. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to go and endorse a player. That's what we need. We need a remake of Valley of Guanji. You're breaking up a little bit, man. Valley of Guanji? Valley of Guanji remake. Mmm. Has to happen. We'll get Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, <laughs> fucking... Directed by Martin Scorsese. Directed by Martin Scorsese. By the way, Martin Scorsese, I would say, in the nicest way possible. I don't think that man... Effects aren't his strongest point. I don't even think... What movie has he done with visual effects? Uh, the Aviator. Oh. Yeah. The Aviator's effects are okay, though. I think um... I, I watched a film recently where I was watching it, and I... Oh, I maybe I'm feeling... Maybe, maybe I feel bad now. Maybe it wasn't Martin Scorsese. There was one where it was like a really like good film but the CGI effects it was like oh man these guys like they don't know how to direct their special effects artists <laughs> in such a way that it it's good I, maybe it wasn't Miles Scorsese was it somewhere. Avengers Endgame because it sounds like that <laughs> <laughs> ooh shade are you throwing it towards the old Thanos don't you know he can click you out of existence you might want to watch yeah. what you're saying I don't care what that purple Homer Simpson does. <laughs> it's just so Space grape. Space grape. Space <laughs> grape. I'm the space grape loaded up with plot contrivances. But it doesn't matter because we're popular, you see. Space grape. Grape space. <laughs> <laughs> 
By the way, I'm probably going to have to go after this. That's all good. Because it is four o'clock in the morning. So. Oh shit! I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Well, this I, is I over here. Play, I could play this all night and stay up, but uh, the thing is, I should probably go to sleep because I've got work. Yeah, tonight. I guess. I'll play one more round and then we'll. Call okay, it. plus we've that's been cool. Recording for three and a half hours. Oh yeah, that's gonna be long. <laughs> it's a long old stream. Oh, that's a good idea. A uh, Guanji patch for the Red Dead games. Mmm. That'd be really cool. There's no way through. There's no way through. <laughs> like that one guy just stabs that Styracosaurus <laughs> with the spear or whatever it is. <laughs> Have you seen him? Um... That's a great shot as well. Have you seen him um, Planet of Dinosaurs? No, but I, I know what it is, but I... I think it might be on YouTube. You should just watch it. It's like, um... It's got some amazing stop motion in it. Yeah, it looks. Every time I've seen like a trailer, for, there's what, what's. Is it? It's not a Gallimimus, is it? It's like a Struthiomimus. What is it? Something. It's in there. It looks great though. The movement with it. There's hmm. T Rex, right? Yeah. There's what? A pass what or other? A Brontosaurus or a Pass or something like that. There's. There's okay. a, a. I think it's a Styracosaurus, and it impales someone on the end of this. Uh, on the end of its spike. On the edge of a cliff, he has nowhere to run, and the thing just comes in and just headbutts him and stabs him. Now, have you ever seen a? I don't think this was Ray Harryhausen. This was uh, when dinosaurs ruled the earth. You've seen this. Yeah, movie. yeah, that's got the, some of the best stop motion ever. It's incredible. Yeah, um, that's the movie where there's a Triceratops, and the Triceratops runs off at the edge of a cliff. After like knocking some cave dudes off, hmm. right? I'm thinking of the right movie, right? Uh, I believe so. It's been years since I've seen it. I think the last time I saw it was during Jurassic June 2014. I don't think I've seen it since like the 90s. Like it's been a long time. I love that movie though. Like the plesiosaurus coming onto the beach, mm, which is like that's, that's visual so... imagery you just don't expect to see. Yeah, like you think they put it in the water. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, nah, bring it up on land, like, show this thing walking And then about. there's fire with the torches and everything. That movie is great. I've got to rewatch that. Oh my god, they are taking the point, and I'm not doing anything to save it. Oh I'm trying to get there. Oh my god, nuclear bomb. Oh my god, this fight. Vicious. I'm being revived, and I'm not anymore. Mm. Imagine how a Godzilla movie would have been like with state-of-the-art go motion. Maybe the 70s or the 60s. I mean, you know for a fact that Ray Harryhausen was probably gagging to do a Godzilla film. They had what? Uh, Ray Harryhausen was probably gagging to do a Godzilla film. Godzilla, yeah. And here, Michael Thiam will probably pull out some fact that, like... <laughs> Actually, Actually, he did make an entire movie. It's just never been seen by anyone. It's called Godzilla, 1994. 1950s... 9. No, but for real, like, could you imagine? I, I bet you that would be really cool. That's the kind of thing. That... Oh, oh, oh! Oh my God! This fight, this fight is insane. I'm way away from you. I'm fighting like five of them at one time. And Someone I'm winning. play the Lord of the Rings music. And I'm winning. It's just this one. Oh, Jesus, that was. That was amazing. I stuck a sticky bomb on them. Like that was that was. Crazy. I'm about to stick a sticky bomb in this boy right here. <laughs> You've been struck by a smooth criminal. Get a get a get a Cooper. Get a Cooper. Get a Cooper. Alan has been struck by get a Cooper. <laughs> 
That's what oh, plays you move after up. Alan gets hit in the head. You've been hit by, <laughs> you've been struck by a smooth Cooper. <laughs> and he puts his shades on and moonwalks off the plane. <laughs> Where'd you meet Alan? Uh, through our church. Cooper's kind of strange in that video. <laughs> <laughs> He's just sitting there with fucking sunglasses. <laughs> Uh, through our church. I love his, sh his sarcastic comment. No, oh, I thought I'd keep it to myself. And then he like shakes his head. No, I laugh. thought I'd keep it to myself. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Cooper, a Jurassic story. Super Cooper. <laughs> Super Cooper. <laughs> He's gonna join the Avengers. Our team's been taken out. Who do we got? Then that music plays. Dun, 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 dun. It's fucking Cooper. <laughs> Super Cooper. Thanos like stands in front of him. Cooper's like, Just, yeah. <laughs> that's how he defeats Thanos. Thanos lays his gauntlet down. Goes, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it like he. Iron Man's like, hurt. Cooper's a professional. He can handle himself. <laughs> and he's like. Thanos is like, you look really upset, young man. Would you like a glass of milk? And he's like, yes. <laughs> Just get a close-up, like, of his... Of him, like, grabbing the gun out of his pocket, like, pistol whip Thanos or something. Yeah, that's right. Thought you could take me out. That was a pretty good kill him. They're I moving the payload. They're moving the payload. Stop. <laughs> Please stop. Just imagine, like, the end of the Avengers. They're all, like, gathered on that hill to fight Thanos. All these portals are opening. All these heroes are stepping out. And then right next to Captain America, one portal opens and Cooper just steps out and he's crying. <laughs> and he's in the middle of the battlefield. He's like, stop. He tells everyone to just stop. He's like, please stop. Please stop! <laughs> he doesn't want him to fight. <laughs> you got Nash screaming somewhere in the ground. <laughs> oh! Udesky snaps his own neck. Oh, man. It's the fact that a Velociraptor snaps somebody's neck. That just never sat right with me. Hmm. How does it know to do that so perfectly? They had a lot of experience. Yeah, maybe it had. Maybe it had the experience. Hmm. Stop! <laughs> Cooper. Cooper has maybe five lines of dialogue. <laughs> He's so iconic though, that's, that's, that's the he thing has, about Cooper. He has He's surprisingly... Through our church, I thought I'd keep it to myself. What do we got here, Nashy? That makes four. Does he say anything else? I don't think he does. Oh wait, he goes no before he gets <laughs> This is five one. He also doesn't he say something for at the beginning when they're testing yeah, the like, gun. What do we got here, Nashy? Yeah, <laughs> that's that's line one. Line two is uh is uh, uh through our church. Line three is nah. I thought I'd keep it to myself. <laughs> line four line four is is shut <laughs> actually I think you find line four is him running through the bushes going like you find what <laughs> running through the bushes making that noise <laughs> stop stop come on Coop don't do this to me no, I can stop this damn plane <laughs> 
I love the sort of, I love the sort of southern drawl accent she you, you give her. <laughs> Makes him so much more funnier. <laughs> Rook can't stop this play. Like they've been in this situation before. <laughs> you know I can't stop this play and we've done this before. <laughs> Don't you remember that time? <laughs> where you ran out in front of the fucking play. And I couldn't stop it. <sighs> I tried to stop it. I couldn't. Fucking <laughs> oh, God. All right, man. I, I know got you tears gotta... in my eyes. <laughs> but, well, no, before we go, before we go, speaking of Cooper, oh no, I'm accidentally entering a game. Let's leave game. Um. Yeah! I'm trying to see my highlights. Did I get that as a highlight? Because if I did, I want to save it. I don't I'm know. I'm just checking something and then I'm going to show you something before I go. I'm just watching it back on the live stream. Or watching it back on. Yeah, it did. Oh my god, it caught my epic. What we'll uh, caught? If you watch the stream, you'll see. I thought I was going to get player of the game for this, but obviously not. Just took all three of those guys out, but alas, it did not. Um, so, uh, okay, let me quit Overwatch. Okay, so I'm going to play this to you, but obviously people uh, in the chat aren't going to see this, because I'm not going to get what demonetized. Is um, I'll send you a link, and then I'll tell you where to skip to. Oh, what we, could, we could just watch What's the whole that? thing. Uh, in Discord. Okay. Uh, Sick Trikes video. Okay. Now you can it's even 20... watch the whole. You, yeah, it's like a collection of everything he's done. But if you want to skip to, um, skip to fifteen seventeen or fifteen fifteen. I'm gonna play this quietly in the background. <laughs> Just listen to him and go. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let me know when you're watching it. Uh. Hello. <laughs> Are you watching the Cooper? Yes. <laughs> he put him in the fucking. <laughs> he put him in the cage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this gets better. Cooper. <laughs> what are they doing? They're setting up a perimeter to make the place safe. God. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of drug filled trip is this? <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, they're going to get copyrighted. <laughs> Wait, let me mute this. Okay, I've seen this. I'm going to have to mute it on my end. Oh, God. All right, I've seen it. <laughs> but you've seen, you've seen the singing. Yeah, that, I got to the singing, and that was like... Did you, is, have you saw the bit where his face appears on the plane? Yeah. Oh, that's really good. That's so funny. But it's got my favorite. Um, if you skip to 11 minutes 08. 11 08. And then just watch from there the, the clip where it's like the Jurassic Park 3 like, dinner sequence at the bar or like the, the bar scene. <laughs> this is one of my favorite things he's done because it's so subtly amazing. <laughs> He's still sorna. He just says it. It's not a secret. <laughs> made a lot of friends in high places. In this case, the moon. And for our wedding anniversary.
country this year. We wanted to do something <laughs> in this place, the moon. <laughs> it's a very kind offer, Mr. Kirby, and he does that face. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's the Billy, Billy drink. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's gonna laugh, and then there's the bleep. Uh... <laughs> John Hammond. <laughs> so weird. Face. Just, like everyone on the stream who'd be watching this back, they can't see what we're seeing. So I apologize. But what I'm gonna yeah, do they're gonna be like, what are they talking about? But the thing is, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just quickly show you what I'm talking about. If I can. <laughs> Let me see if I can do this. I'm at the part where he's he's dubbing where he's putting subtitles where Nick and uh Ian are yelling in the woods. It just says, it says Japanese. <laughs> oh. I can't show people what I'm seeing. But if you go on Sick Trike's video, <laughs> uh, Sick, <laughs> Sick Triceratops' YouTube channel, and just look up the video, random Jurassic Park videos I've made without context, it's that video we're watching. It's just ridiculous. It's pretty great. <laughs> oh, it's so perfect. The whole thing from the beginning, the... The whole ancient futures thing. Oh, that's so good. Ancient futures? Oh, do you know what? I might like... see. I really want to see if I can put this up on the stream. But the display capture is not working for some reason. Um... <laughs> In a way, it's both. Oh yeah, you watching the ancient futures one? Yeah. It's ancient, it's future. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's people battling on the field with the raptor and Stop Yeah, <laughs> see the raptor. <laughs> oh god, and then the next one where the kid pisses Alan off. <laughs> oh god. And what happens at the end of that one is amazing. Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you just seen him kicking the kid in the head. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could pull this up on stream, but I can't. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. You can't see this, but that's... <sighs> Peter Ludwig. <laughs> Peter Ludwig. Are you there? Right, man, I'm going to have to go. It's, okay, it's cool. It's 4.20 right now. Right. I'm going to have to go. All right, man. All right, cheers That's for coming cool. along, and everyone yes. else for coming to the stream. Thank you so much. Hope you've had fun listening to us waffle on about all sorts all night. This was an yeah. impromptu stream, last minute decision, but there we are. Anyway, guys, we'll catch you soon. And Clayton, thank you once again. Go and buy Clay Clayton's merch. What you should do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go pick it up. It's got some sexy designs. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. Right. See you later, man. Later, dude. Bye.